society for India. Oh, I've okay. just started the recording. Okay, okay. I'll start all again, uh, all over again. <laughs> a very good afternoon, everyone. I extend a warm welcome to Professor Kavita Rastodi. She is the founder and honorary president of the Society for Endangered and Lesser Known Languages. I also welcome Dr. Madhuri Kokti. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm, uh, I'm not right. your name. All right. She is the honorary vice president of SEL. I also welcome my colleagues of the Department of Linguistics, Mr. Rajay Sarvaya, Dr. Shreya Mehta, Ms. Dipanvita Rami, and all my dear students. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome you all for this online workshop come training session on data collection methods, which will of course focus on the Swadesh word list under the CELL project. Uh, CELL, uh, the Society for Endangered and Lesser Known Languages was founded by Dr. Kavita Rastodi in July, 2011. And she will of course tell us more about the activities at CELL, but uh, I would like to mention that this particular workshop has been a very, uh, interesting and a very look forward to kind of an event for us here at the department because we realized that by participating in this workshop and getting this training we can forward and we can contribute some of the uh, information for this Vadesh list from our side so there will be students from the master's final year who will be taking this information and taking this work forward for their project work for this final semester and we hope we can contribute something useful for the project. So on those few notes, I would like to welcome you all once again. And before we start, we would have to uh, we have a little university song. So I would request we, that we all stand up for the anthem. Thank you. And now I think we can start with the session. Uh, I, I would like you to take over from here. Uh, Kavita, ma'am, or uh, Kakot, Dr. Kakoti, please. 
just few lines from my side, uh, Mona Ji. As you mentioned that I would like to talk a little bit about the activities and the work CELL does so that students will get to know. So I have a very small um, presentation for them. Actually, uh, I am, since last 25 years, I'm working with some smaller languages and most most of my work is on Raji. Raji is an endangered language. Many of you must have heard that some languages are not flourishing languages. These languages are spoken by a very small number of uh, people. And sometimes languages are lost also. So while working uh, on Raji and uh, working with Raji community, I felt the need for establishing a forum a society where uh, scholars like me, students like you, we all can join hands and we can work for these languages and we can help the society community. So this was the thought behind uh, the founding. Uh, with, uh, this was the reason I, I wanted to um, establish a society. So society was established in 2011. So what are the objectives of this society? We, we try to document languages and if the language is endangered and it needs some kind of support from linguists, we try to revitalize these languages and we work with indigenous communities. And when we collect data, we try to prepare uh, grammars, dictionaries and pedagogical materials also. And, uh, Apart from this, we also try to strengthen the community people. Often we conduct workshops with uh, community people and uh, involved so that they are involved in collecting data. And uh, this is the first time that we are conducting workshop for uh, students. We have, uh, we have uh, uh, organized few workshops with native speakers of different communities. Uh, communities from Himachal Pradesh, communities from Uttarakhand, uh, we have been conducting workshops with them. So this is our first workshop with the students. But we are very happy to conduct and organize this workshop because I uh, hope they will learn a few things. And uh, if they are interested in this field, they can pursue their PhDs and they can pursue their research in this area also. And uh, apart from uh, documentation and revitalization, we conduct, uh, we organize an yearly uh, conference also, where uh, I think, uh, yeah, Monaji was one of the presenter in ELKL4, yeah. And uh, there's an e-journal also. And this e-journal and, and our workshop uh, or seminar, or you can, sometimes it's international conference also. Uh, uh, we always prefer to encourage students to present their work, to present their work as a paper or either their presentations during the conference. So if any of your student, uh, they would like to pursue their career in this area, uh, they are most welcome to join hands with us. And in future, uh, whatever we are, uh, we are, or we are trying to give because uh, there are several softwares uh, because language documentation is a very scientific field and there are several softwares uh, that helps us uh, to, to work, you, uh, you can say quickly, because uh, in the era when I started work, all the work was done by pen and pencil. Gradually, uh, I learned things and uh, I wanted. I want all the all the students to know about those things. So we often uh, conduct workshops for our members also, for native speakers also, and uh, uh, we are very thankful to Mona Parekji to uh, who invited us to conduct this workshop. And uh, we, I have a very, I should rather say we we have a very small uh, team. Uh, of um, cell members. So these are uh, our team members, all young researchers. Uh, 
some have uh, some have been awarded PhD when when Dr. Kakuti started working uh, with Cell and with us, uh, she was pursuing her PhD. Then she now she is a doctor, Dr. Vishnu Singh and uh, Dr. Ajay uh, Ajay Kumar Singh and few of others. But our members are. Uh, spread over all over India and a uh, few members are from abroad also and all of them are were helping us. So I'm uh, I'm very grateful to uh, to all my members and once again thank you Monaji for giving us this opportunity so that we can teach the basics of uh, field linguistics uh, to our students. And uh, last lastly, uh, this is our website address and uh, our contact address. And uh, after the workshop, if you want to pursue something or you, you want to contact us, please feel free to send us mail and you can visit our website also uh, so that you can see the activities which we do. And most of the work uh, is done by volunteers. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, our organization is a small, hands are few, but I think that the work my team does is very important work. So with that note, uh, I will try, I will invite Madhuri to, I, or rather I will hand over the mic to Madhuri, the stage to Madhuri. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rasogi, ma'am. And thank you very much, Dr. Mona, ma'am, for uh, having me here today. Uh, and as ma'am said, there's something which I would like to add that even though we are a small team and the work is uh, largely done by volunteers like you, like the students of, uh, of uh, Broda University, uh, we did something during COVID-19 uh, pandemic, the first wave, uh, was that we translated some of the material which was given out by the uh, Ministry of Health and Family Affairs. And we translated that to over 100 languages. And all of that was done by the volunteers. All of that was done by the people, the members of uh, CEL. So I think that is also, we we make up, even though the core team is small, the team actually is quite big. And we have members uh, across the nation and all of you can become members as well. And there's one thing which I would like to um, add because also as the vice president of CEL, because it's like my duty, not as your instructor, not as your uh, guest person who is doing your workshop today. But uh, we also give out in uh, whenever whenever we have money, whenever we have a project, whenever we have extra cash coming in into the organization, we always give that out as small stipends or small fellowships to um, students, especially if you are MA students and if you are working with endangered languages, uh, just become a member of the organization. You will receive regular updates and regular information about such opportunities where you can be paid, where you can get some money for your project work. For example, if you have to go into a remote village in order to collect your data, you need money for your travels, you need money for accommodation, you need money to pay your informants. All of those things can be covered. So there is usually uh, an announcement for something like that. Uh, so watch out uh, on our website, go to our website, be a regular visitor, be a regular um, uh, member of the organization. It's, I think it's a very, very small nominal amount, 1500 for two years. Uh, and, uh, and I think there is an amount for uh, for the year, for the lifetime uh, membership as well, which you can find on the website. So go ahead, head on, head on to the website and get this information. And now we can begin our, uh, the, the reason why we have gathered here today. Uh, I will be shifting uh, from he between Hindi and English. I hope that is all right. I hope all of you are bilingual. Okay. Um, so the first, okay. So this is, we are we, we will be doing a hands-on training on data el elicitation, recording, and management. All the three, all three steps will be covered. Although management will be, there will be little time left for management in the end. I will, I would like to concentrate more on data elicitation and recording that you will need to do. Uh, the For your current level and probably as uh, Dr. Uh, Mona uh, talked about that you will be doing your projects, you are MA level students, maybe you would not be needing the kind of equipment that we will be talking about. But if you are linguistic students and if you have um, research, linguistic research and academic research, which includes field work in your mind for your PhDs or even for your academic careers, uh, 
in your in the future, then all of these things will be essential. So I would like you to, you know, pay a little bit of attention. I would also be asking questions in between and, you know, maybe asking you for examples. So I would like you to, you know, make this interactive and give me answers. You can write them in the chat box. I will be keeping uh, an eye out for the chat box. Um, or you can just raise your hand and we can pause in the middle and uh, get and give and get an answer to the question that I will be asking. All right. Uh, so let's begin. The first and the most important thing that you need to do when you are doing data elicitation. First of all, we all know what data elicitation is, right? Elicitation, the verb itself talks about getting something out or extracting some kind of information from your informant. All right. Sabse pehle zaruri, sabse zada zaruri, aapke pure data elicitation process may hai informant ko chunna aap kisko chunte ho that is very important ki aapka result ya aega aapke aapka result kaise aega kitni kitna asan hoga us result ko collect karna kitna asan hoga us result ko samajna or analyze karna so selection of the informant is the number one and the what's selection of the informant is the number one and the most important um step i'm sorry i'm i'm getting a call i'll just uh do that and come back hello we are left wale pillar pe rakh dijiye ek second hold kijiye i could not mute it <laughs> 108369 all right i'm sorry guys I uh, the tech advanced te technological advancements have started to catch up on me, and I'm not able to get catch up catch up on that. I could not find a mute button on the Zoom. Anyway, so selection of the informant is the most important step that you can have. You need to understand what kind of informant that you are looking for. You what kind of informant would give you the correct answer? For example, if you are let's say. Um, understanding literacy or you are understanding the effect or understanding the how bilingualism uh, and literacy go hand in hand you need you will always need to find somebody who is a literate person who is and by the definitions of literacy anybody who can sig sign their name is literate but that definition is not going to work for your selection of the informant right because it just does not matter if the person is able to sign their names or not it also requires that you um uh, that the person is actually literate, is actually able to read and write. So selection of the native speaker is extremely important. Selection of the informant is extremely important. You select a native speaker for the language that is your target language. You select somebody with a native-like competence as well. For example, my native language is Assamese because I'm from Assam. Uh, but my I have native-like native like, native -like competence in Hindi as well because I have, you know, spent most of my life in Hindi-speaking areas. I have been educated in Hindi. So I can also be considered an informant for a project which is working on the Hindi language, right? So uh, the person, the, uh, the informant that you have should have a clear voice. They should have a genuine interest in the project. Preferable and pre-decided level of education, age, and gender. You will decide what should be the age of the person. You will decide what should be the gender of the person. You should already have these criteria in mind when you are going for a project, when you are uh, when you are going for a field work. Because, for example, some if you want to look at, let's say, folk tales, or if you want to look at folk narratives, or if you want to look at um, songs which have been there in the community for generations, you probably will not find these items in, um, let's say, a 25 and below age group. You have to find somebody who is above 50 or preferably above 60 who has cultural knowledge, who has traditional knowledge. So you will decide, you need to, you need to understand what kind of person will be able to give you the information that you are that you are looking for right so these criteria need to be clear in your head need to be pre-decided pre you cannot go on field and decide that okay i'm looking for these kind of people right you have to pre-decide it that is going to save you time that is going to save you energy preferable exposure to technology is always best because sometimes you need to record things sometimes you are not able to go on field for example during covid we were not able to go on field but we had a group of people who were technologically aware enough that they could be they were able to use um phone recorders they were able to send us 
uh, the recorded files over WhatsApp or make a video recording and say, send it across uh, by sharing it on Google Drive. So preferable exposure to technology is always, always um, good. Now, the thing is many of the things which I might be speaking to you today, which, will, which I will be speaking to you today, they might seem like common sense stuff. They might seem like something, oh, itna to humme pata hai, itna to hum jante hai. Lekin, uh, there are, this is, this comes, this comes from very personal experience. When you go on field, sometimes you feel, achha, ye kar liya hota pehle, to humme zada better hai tha. Agar ye kar liya hota, to achha, achha, or, or better collection ho sakta tha. Because sometimes common sense becomes, it becomes so common, it becomes so inherent, it becomes so, uh, it becomes, it, it's just there and it's, it's invisible to you. Just like a big thing is that you keep it in front of you and you don't see it. It's like It's right that you, you think that obviously you will think about this, but then you don't. And then you feel it on the field. So have a little bit of patience and, and listen to all the steps. Again, like I said, many of it might seem very commonplace and common sense to you. But trust me, common sense is not that common. Okay. Now, what is elicitation? We have talked about it. It's the extraction of uh, data. It's trying to get information out from an informant. Uh, we will be talking about what are the different types of elicitation procedures, interviews, types of interviews, questionnaires, combining questionnaires and interview data, production tasks and types of production tasks, uh, advantages of the elicitation process and disadvantages of the elicitation process. Okay. Uh, now we have the different. There are different kinds of elicitation process. We have interviews, questionnaires, combining questionnaires and interview data, and production tasks. All of these things you will use in uh, the field, and all of these things. Now, all of these things will not be there when you are using the Swadesh word list. Now, the Swadesh word list is something which has been simplified. Now, all of us know who gave us the Swadesh word list. Maurice Swadesh was the linguist who gave the Swadesh word list. He started it with a. Uh, uh, a list of 115 words and he went up to 165 and then after several repetitions and several editions and subtractions 100 words and the Swadesh word list is a, a combination or it's the not a combination it's a collection it's a collection of the most common and the universal elements which are there in our languages uh, irrespective of the fluidity of the language, irrespective of the endangerment of the language, and irrespective of the cultural items in the language. Okay? So, Swadesh word list ke jo hasaw word hai, wo har bhasha mein universally, according, ab, ab to, ab to bohat sare log dekh chuke hai, bohat sare log kar chuke hai, uh, har bhasha mein universally paai jate hai. So, it's always almost like the first step or the first thing that you want to elicit when you are going on field, especially if you are working uh, on a new language or somebody something which has not been documented very well and um, if you are if you if you aim to work towards the production of a dictionary or production of a uh, let's say a grammar or even any kind of any kind of uh, documentation of the language you start with the swadesh word list because it's a very solid point to start it gives you a lot of information it gives you syntactical items it gives you uh, phonological items, it gives you phonemes, it gives you a, it, a very solid foundation to your elicitation work. All right. So, um, again, Swadesh word list may be aapko interviews uh, in karne ki zirwat padegi because, of course, you will not be collecting one word list from just one informant. That That is not how uh, elicitation works. You need to have uh, you need to have the data checked and rechecked and reinforced by members of the community. Right. So we have these different kinds of elicitation procedures. You have interviews, questionnaires, combining questionnaires and interview data, and then you have different production tasks. Now, what are the kinds of different interviews? Okay. Uh, interviews may obviously, you know, you have one person, you are speaking to one person, you are, an in, you are an interviewer and you have your informant in front of you. When you have more than one person, it generally not an, it's a group discussion and group discussions do serve their purpose. But, um, they are not as beneficial when it comes to uh, documentation, when it comes to data uh, linguistic data el elicitation, as far as inter interviews, are, as far as uh, as much as interviews are, because group discussions may usually kya hota hai ki <coughs> you have two people or more than people, um, Sing a particular sentence. For example, you want a sentence in the passive voice. You want your passive voice. Me, aapko ek 
सेंटेंस चाहिए आपने ट्रांसलेशन मेथड से यू हैव आस्क द पर्सन ट्रांसलेट अ पर्टिकुलर सेंटेंस एंड देन पर्सन हैज ट्रांसलेटेड दैट फॉर यू इन लैंग्वेजेस एज वी ऑल नो देयर आर मोर वेज ऑफ सेइंग अ सेम थिंग देयर इवन दो इवन दो द ग्रामेटिकल स्ट्रक्चर मे रिमेन द सेम बट द चॉइस ऑफ वर्ड्स द वर्ड ऑर्डरिंग स्पेशली इफ इट्स अ रिलेटिवली फ्री वर्ड ऑर्डर लाइक वी हैव इन हिंदी अगर उस तरीके से फ्री वर्ड वर्ड ऑर्डर टाइप की लैंग्वेजेस हैं तो सेंटेंसेस में चेंज आते हैं एंड यू डू नॉट वांट दैट कशन हैपनिंग ऑन रियल टाइम वाइल यू आर कलेक्टिंग द डेटा और वाइल यू आर डूइंग अ रिकॉर्डिंग राइट व्हेन यू आर चेकिंग व्हेन यू आर रीचेकिंग विद अन अदर इन्फॉर्मेंट देन मे बी इट्स पॉसिबल फॉर यू टू हैव अ ग्रुप डिस्कशन बट एज फार एज द फर्स्ट स्टेप्स और द इनिशियल पार्ट ऑफ योर डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इज कंसर्न इंटरव्यूज शुड ऑलवेज बी वन ऑन वन Yeah, structured interviews, semi-structured, unstructured, ethnographic, and focus group interviews. Let's look at structured interviews. Now, structured interviews are usually uh, accompanied by accompanied with by questionnaires. Accompanied with questionnaires. When we talk about questionnaires, we'll again come back to this point of how structured interviews progress. Uh, structured interviews always have a very specific goal in mind. You, you as a you as an interview okay for example uh, you want to you want to discuss how the how he, uh, does it marriage rituals right marriage rituals mein kya hota hai marriage ritual mein kya kya kaun si languages use hoti hain kis tarike ki cheeze use hoti hain for example hum log ko pata hai ki jab hum log jab wedding ke rituals hote hain wedding rituals mein bahut sare aise chote chote Okay. For example, there is alta, which is a red ink, which is usually drawn on the feet and hands of uh, brides and grooms. Uh, and there is a particular item which is used to apply the alta on the bride and groom's uh, feet. Now, we in the in normal parlance and in normal conversation, we do not have an we do not have a name for that particular item. We do not know that particular item because there is a very a particular person in a community which usually comes in and draws an alta in on the bride and groom's feet now that person knows what that is called but you don't know it probably the informant that you have chosen also not know doesn't know it but they know the name but they know but they know of the process and if you are lucky enough and you are interviewing that exact person who does that particular ritual you will have a new item uh which is there in their vocabulary so you have it in mind in your structured when you are doing structured interview what exactly you are looking for what are the vocabulary items you are looking for what are the different the names of the rituals that you are lo looking for probably this is that they are singing the meaning of these songs uh what these songs are actually called etc for example in up there is a very popular um now it's popular usually earlier like 10 years ago 20 20 years ago researchers like me would didn't even know that such a thing existed but there is something called nakta or naktora naktora is when the bride bride or the when the groom's party has left uh, its home barat leke wo chali ja chuki hai aur dulhan lane gayi hai to barat mein usually mard jate hain aadmi jate hain aur ghar ke bade jate hain wo log lene aate hain ghar mein dulhe ki maa nahi jati hai barat mein aur ghar mein already bahut sare dusre aur mahilaye bhi rehti hain उन उस प्रोग्राम में जब बारात चली जाती है तो देर इज अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ टाइम ऑन द ऑन द पीपल्स हैंड्स सो द वीमेन गेट टुगेदर एंड वो लोग एक पर्टिकुलर तरीके का नाटक प्रस्तुत करते हैं जिसमें वो जो औरतें होती है वो महिला वो पुरुषों का वेश वेशभूषा धारण करते हैं दे वेयर द क्लोथ ऑफ मैन एंड दे प्रेजेंट अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल नाटक समटाइम्स इट इज ऑफ अ वेरी नॉटी नेचर and the specific ways and there are specific songs which are sung a very specific kind of vocabulary is used for the people uh, who have gone for the men of the family for the female women of the family and for the patriarchs of the family and so on and so forth that is called naktora and that there is a very specific and those naktoras are done in the in the vernacular languages in avadhi in magahi in maithili or the other languages which are there available in you if you are looking to elicit that information you have to have a structured interview in your mind you have to have a very particular set of questions that you are going to ask right it is done one person at a time it is done orally rather than in writing writing usually as linguists you will probably elicit written responses very very specific and first of all the language has a script and when usually if there it's an endangered language it does not really have a script and even if it does uh, it becomes a difficult process 
So it's usually held uh, orally rather than in writing. Again, one person at a, at a time. Recording of the person's answer by tick the box kind of coding scheme. Uh, because you have that, uh, you have you have your questions prepared, and then you have, uh, you, we sometimes you have answers prepared as well, and you do the tick the box, uh, tick the box kind of um, uh, uh, an approach where you are, um, where you, where you are specifically looking for the items which are there in your options, and then you when you find the items and you tick the box. The questions are prepared in advance and in the same order. Every person is asked the same question. Every person is um, asked it in the same order. And you get the same specific information from each person. You follow closely the predetermined agenda. You, the results can be turned into numerical data, as some questions will also involve closed, factual kinds of responses and detailed data to compare all of the informants. Now, this is usually this kind of these kind of in, these kind of interviews and these kind of uh, this kind of data where you can have you can transform something into a score, uh, transform something into a numerical data is very essential and very um important when it comes to let's say you are looking at not just social linguistic and not, not just linguistic information but maybe also a little bit of neuro linguistic information for example when you're looking at disorders when you are looking at linguistic disorders within a community and you figure out a, a particular people who have that kind of disorder give certain give a certain kind of answer and give a certain have a certain kind of um, linguistic expression when it comes to the manifestation of the disorder and you have these kind of factual responses and you have these numerical uh, whether they whether they um, have disorder or not not right so that this interview a structured interview where you have a particular set of questions you ask everyone the same kind of answers and then you compare the answers is very essential in the presentation processes now then you have semi-structured and linguists we have the most important and the most beneficial for us is a semi-structured interview and the and the key point about a semi-structured interview is is that the in interviewee not the interviewer decides where the uh, where the interview is given by the interviewee sometimes you have a question and the person will give an answer and the answer will make you give make you give a follow up question okay for example uh, you say that um, is there uh, are there are there rituals which what uh, uh, do you have rituals when a child is born and the person says yes Okay, you tick the box and then you ask a follow up question. What kind of rituals do you have? And the person will tell when the interviewee will tell about the kind of kind of rituals that they have, the kind of rituals that they follow when a child is born. You ask, do you have songs uh, which are sung when a child is born? And the person talks about the songs or he says yes or no. You ask a follow up question. What kind of songs? And then they give you, uh, 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 if they know a song, then they sing you the song or they give, give you the lyrics of the song. If they don't know the song, they give you the name of the person who knows such kinds of songs and so on and so forth. Semi-structured interviews are still structured. They, they're organized, but they're also open. You do not have a particular set of answers that you are looking for. Or you do not have a set of data that you are looking for that you need to check. You have the data which is coming to you. You take the data which is coming to you. Topics which you uh, have in mind for which make questions. But it's not always there. Of course, you can go ahead and have. Providing it provides you flexibility and it has uh, sometimes it has unexpected responses that that will lead you lead you into new uh, like Kavita ma'am said we were talk, we worked with a, a group called the Raji community and for years uh, we have been looking we have we have tried to has a story about how their tribe originated all right now while one once one one day met a very old Raji uh, grandmother and we was I and then we were our community where the community comes from. I asked her, Dadi, aap ki community kaha se aati? Aap kaha se aate hai? And the Dadi was talking about um uh, where she, her community comes from ki um hum se aate, 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 
ए का भी समय था देन ऑफ कोर्स ग्रहण और एज वी नो एन इक्लिप्स इज एन एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल इवेंट विच हैपन्स एंड इट्स अ वेरी साइंटिफिक इवेंट ओके इट देर आर देर आर वेरी साइंटिफिक वेज ऑफ अंडरस्टैंड नाउ वी नो हाउ अ ग्रहण है सूरज के चांद के सामने सूरज का ग्रहण हैपन सो आई वाज वेरी इंटरेस्टेड इन नोइंग व्हाट द कम्युनिटी नोज अबाउट ग्रहण और द कांसेप्ट ऑफ इक्लिप्स एंड व्हाट हैपेंस एंड व्हाट नॉट एंड बहुत ही एक बहुत और वो इट वाज नॉट रिलेटेड टू द ओरिजिन स्टोरी दैट आई वाज लुकिंग फॉर बट इट वाज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी व्हिच केम अप ड्यूरिंग द कन्वर्सेशन एंड इट वाज एन अनएक्सपेक्टेड स्टोरी बट इट वाज अ वेरी वेलकम स्टोरी एंड इट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज एन एक्सट्रीमली इंटरेस्टिंग वे टू ऑब्जर्व because she told me about grahan and she told me about how a particular bhoot comes in and the bhoot nig uh, uh, swallows the sun or we can see the sun and the moon anymore is tarike ki unki kahaniyan thi and we all know that many of our cultures have this story of uh, rahu our culture has a story of rahu swallowing the sun and uh, so on and so forth so uh, this story was very um, Uh, unexpected and it came as a result of this semi structured interview where i did go with the initial plan of finding out their origin story but i was also given this unexpected response and this unexpected story data uh, uh about the story about their uh, about the end within the community it came of the participants responses but also allow the individual for individual diversity and flex possibility because we have to remember that even though we are looking at an at language which is used by a community language is also used by individuals individual so language you know there are idiolect there are sociolect there are um many languages manifest people manifest uh, in front of in front of people they will speak to a, uh, a an informant Uh, an informant will will speak that professor rastogi has been working with them working with the raj community for, for the past 25 years i have worked with them only for the past 5 years yeah? even after that the and the raj community is very <coughs> closed a uh, trust in very short sentences and they'll only speak to me nicely when professor stogi is accompanying me or when we are so uh we also okay individually also people will um uh, use language differently and a semi structured interview gives you this opportunity opportunity of identifying or looking at individuals responses along with individual language along with language with a capital difficult to manage information you want you you jo aap chahte ho na wo aap nikalne ki that is kind of um, that's a, that's called asking a leading question jaise aap kabhi adalat wagera mein usme agar dekhe dekha hai to humne kaha ab objection will not uh, witness ko lead karne ki koshish ki ja rahi hai theek hai so it's like that you you don't want to lead, ask a leading question because you are eliciting information right aap information nika aamal so definitely for example if you want to look at if you want um, uh, to find a passive uh, structure तो आप बोलोगे अच्छा आप इमेजिन कीजिए दिस इज एन एग्जांपल व्हिच आई यूजुअली डू इन माय क्लासरूम्स दैट इमेजिन दैट यू आर वाचिंग द गणतंत्र दिवस का परेड और गणतंत्र दिवस के परेड में जो अवार्ड दिए जाते हैं ना जो वीर चक्र परमवीर चक्र दिया जा दिया जाता है आप उसको आप उसकी आप कॉमेंट्री कीजिए ठीक है एंड जब आप कॉमेंट्री करते हैं यू विल ऑलवेज फाइंड योर यूजिंग द पैसिव वॉइस इनके द्वारा दिया जाता है इनको दिया जाता है इनको परमवीर चक्र दिया जाता है ठीक है तो दैट व्हेन यू हैव व्हेन व्हेन द पर्सन इज डूइंग दैट काइंड ऑफ कमेंट्री ऑटोमेटिकली आपके पास एक 
automatically you have the information that you want. You want, you have the structure that you want, right? So, uh, and for example, again, another example is if you want to elicit, let's say the past tense. So, what did you do yesterday morning? And the person, when they're talking about yesterday morning, so obviously, past tense, right? So you don't say, you don't ask a direct question. Translate this into your language. That is a very dry way of doing it. Sometimes it gives a very um, clinical response. Sometimes it gives a very unnatural, unnatural, correct, uh, uh, grammatically correct, but unnatural response. Because usually, log, uh, itne grammatical tarike mein, ya fir itne, um, formal tarike mein baat nahi karte hai. Formal tarike mein baat nahi karte, right? So you want, you don't want, don't want to ask leading questions. You want to ask uh, probative questions. Probative is when you are probing, dhire dhire karke aap khojne ki koshish kar rahe hai. Aur us khojne ki process mein aapko information milta hai. Aur aapko ho sakta hai, bhoat sara information mila. Aur us, us mein se aapko information chhaatna pade. But the way you will get the information will be the natural way of doing. Alright? It will be a natural way of um, finding that information. Structured interviews, uh, semi-structured interviews, structured interviews ka ek reinforcement hai. For example, in a structured interview mein, you can, again, aap jab agar translation device ka istamal karte hai, ya translation task ka istamal karte hai, mein ye nahi keh ki wo galat hai, bilkul nahi, wo bhi sahi hai. Ek semi-structured interview, aapko, jo structured interview hai, agar aapne translational method use kiya hai, to wo जो translated sentence आपको मिला है, उसको reinforce करने के लिए, उसको correct करने के लिए, या उसका एक more natural way, a conversational way find out करने के लिए, उसके options find out करने के लिए, आपको एक semi-structured interview help कर, okay? Then you have unstructured interviews, as you can understand very well from the uh, um, from the name of the uh, interview itself. It's unstructured. It doesn't have any planning. It doesn't have any um, questions in mind. It doesn't have... Of course, topic to aapke dimaag mein hota hi hai, Hamisha. But there are no pre-planned questions that you ask. These interviews are individualized. At individual ke level par aap baat karte hain. For example, if you're looking at class differences or caste differences between certain languages or, or the different kind of certain language varieties. You have your element uh, in mind. You have the kind of informant that you want. You have the informant's gender, the informant's caste, the informant's education, the informant's educational background, so on and so forth in mind. But the interviews, and, uh, but you don't have like a set of pre-planned questions that you have. The purpose of an unstructured interview is to bring out issues that are related to your research, a set of questions or topics in mind, and the direction of the interview. See, this is the interview. Who usually decide that we will talk about this topic. For example, if you have an unstructured interview or you are a migrant laborer, you have a migrant laborer. Let's say the country's economy, because the understanding of the laborer of the economy will be, I'm not saying will be wrong or will be um, not advanced, but I'm saying it will be limited. The person will be able to ask or answer questions about how they earn stuff how they earn their money, how they manage their money, and so on and so forth. But if you ask about larger questions or larger uh, concepts of economy, the person might not be able to answer, right? These kind of things that you will need to... Uh, the, so the participant will decide what kind of... Um, what direction um, that, that uh, the interview is going to take. As much in-depth information as possible about the speaker's experiences, views, perspectives, and beliefs, uh, an, an, an unstructured interview um, allows you to take these things into account and uh, an unstructured interview allows you to elicit these kind of things if you are if you want uh yeah but again jab hum log field mein jate hai na, to hamesha usually it becomes a semi-structured interview unstructured to usually nahi hota hai because hum log jab bhi kabhi uh, field pe jate hai we always have you know the our objectives in mind we know what kind of what are objectives we are going for we know what by the end of the field work, what are the things that you can, that you should have accomplished, that you should have collected? What are what are the informations that, what is the information that you should have collected by the end? So you always have this kind of information in the back of your mind. So it's not, not always an unstructured interview. It becomes semi-structured uh, or I would say less semi-structured, but not exactly unstructured. But the point is, 
here the inform the focus is your mm, the the informant and not you all right then you have ethnographic interviews ethnographic interviews are a, it's a qualitative technique that studies the cultural patterns of participation participants in their natural setting we almost all of us do ethnographic interviews all the time ethnographic interviews are structured unstructured semi structured sare differences are going into the informant's natural setting. So it automatically becomes an ethnographic interview. It's a discovery oriented uh, interview. So, so much, so, which means that the informant controls what he wants to share with the interviewer. Again, this comes within the ethics of field research as well. That when you are when you want to ask a question, you always have to remember the cultural ramifications of um speaking to a person who does not speak your speak your language as their native language which has a different different native language there might be cultural um there might be cultural nuances to speak uh to to be to speak to that to that particular person there might be cultural uh inhibitions that the person has in speaking for example there was this one time when i was in a very very remote village of rajasthan and we were uh we were there to look at the way in which they they uh, preserve water and the different ways in which they talk about water preservation because Rajasthan is a fairly arid state and they have to have rainwater water preservation and there was this uh, a particular group who had you know completely transformed the way of water preservation we were looking at that and in that particular process I was going into different houses and speaking to the people of the the, the particular uh, family and every single time I would speak to a man the man would not answer and the man would just when I speak to women, they would obviously speak to me, but the men would not speak to me. And it became later on one of the women, uh, I, because your face is open and you are you are not wearing a dupatta and your face is not covered, so they will not speak to you. So it was a cultural information. Uh, all the women I speak to, uh, I spoke to, they spoke to me with their faces uncovered with the gungat over here. However, every time a man, a man who was not a part of their family would walk by or would uh, come into their vicinity, they would automatically just remove, uh, just bring the the, pata, the pallu down up to their uh, and clench the pallu in their teeth like this. All right. So it's a cultural ramification. It's a cultural uh, item which I needed to take care of. So obviously, this is these are some things. These are these are things that you need to understand. The uh, informant will decide whether they, they will they want to give you a certain way or not. For example, you might want to ask about, let's say, a mother, uh, you may not be allowed to enter that place of worship. So the person has, the, the people have very closely guarded um, things which they do in those places of worship and they will not they don't want to share them with you they would not want want to want you to interview them they would not want you to photograph these places these things these are all things which is which have happened to us on field so that's why i'm sharing these with you so this is a discovery oriented uh interview where the informant will control if they say that they don't want to speak to you about this you cannot force the person or you cannot try to elicit any more for any more information you can't try but it will not be ethical. That will for the interviewer to discover, to understand, to learn the subject's views of their own world. Of course, when when you have ethnographic interviews, ethnographic interviews are more than linguistics. Linguistic interview. Linguistics has information about ethnography. Linguistics has information of culture. All of these things come within the purview of the larger umbrella of uh, a linguistic interview, right? It requires spending an extensive amount of time with the participants, uh, number of field visits, number of field trips, and 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 you know a, a more building a rapport with uh, with the with the people that you that you are working with. A rapport and a positive relationship. Now that is this is exactly what has happened with Professor Astogi and the Raji community. She has built a rapport over a period of a huge period of twenty five years, and they are now they give her positive responses. I'm still I I still want to uh, be be like that, but they have still not warmed up to me, unfortunately. But uh, moving on. 
uh, then you have focus group interviews. All right. Focus group, group interviews are structured, small group interviews. We have talked about group discussions, but these are very different from group interviews. How? Because you're not you are not uh, interviewing a several people at the same time. That's not it. A focus group interview is, interviews is about your sample size. What kind, the size of the people, that num the size of the, the number of the people that you will be speaking with uh, while eliciting a particular structure, a particular data that you want to get out, right? It's a structure. It's a small group. It's a small sample size. It's in inexpensive. It has rapid te technique. It, ha it has very few uh, detail, not detail, very few pointed questions, all right? Isko kya kehte hai? Isko kya kehte hai? Isko kya kehte hai? For example, the Swadesh word list that you, you, will, you will be collecting, that is an example of something that you do in a focus group interview, all right? You have a certain set number of people because in order to, aapko pata chal jayega, aap ek bar uh, word list collect karte hai and then you want to collect it from another another person, do teen persons ke baad aapko pata chal jayega ki achha, isko yahi across the board, this is what it, it this is what it is called across the board in uh, in the language for example pronouns pronouns for i pronouns for you he she etc pronouns is a closed class group right you cannot add new pronouns right uh, so usme closed class group ke uh, isme hote hai. so agar aap, aap pronoun lete hain aap puchte hain acha main ko kya kehte hain to agar aap wo, 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 wo person bolta hai ki acha main is this you interview five people, you find the same answer, and you know that this is set. So you have a very set number of questions, you have a set number of uh, people that you want to look at, and you have a set number of answers that you will be looking at, right? Now, again, let me just here, here interject and, and give you an information. For example, when you're looking at pronouns, you can have pronouns like I, which is uh, a subject pronoun, and me, which is an object pronoun. So dono cheese are different. हो सकता है आपको हिंद आपकी भाषा में या जिस भी भाषा में आप कोशिश कर रहे हैं जिस व्हाटएवर इज योर टारगेट लैंग्वेज दैट आल्सो हैज दिस डिफरेंशिएशन जैसे मैं और मुझे ठीक तो बोथ ऑफ देम आर बोथ ऑफ दीस हैव आर पीपल व्हिच आर आर वर्ड्स व्हिच आर इंडिकेटिंग द पर्सन इंडिकेटिंग द फर्स्ट पर्सन बट दे हैव डिफरेंट ग्रामेटिकल स्ट्रक्चर दे दे हैव डिफरेंट ग्रामेटिकल ऑब्जेक्टिव्स उनका Grammar may role alag alag hai. Wo aapko elicit karne ke liye. Sometimes you might, this, the word list might not be enough. But again, that is the second step. The word list hai, the word list aapka pehla step hota hai. Aap word list ko jab collect karne jate hai, aap extra information chahe, to aap le sakte hai, chahe to aap uh, ek usko ek, instead of a structure or instead of a focus group interview, you can make it into a semi-structured interview, but that becomes a very long and uh, sara, zyada data usme a, aane lag jata hai. and at your level hum agar data ko separate rakhe, data, data ko structured rakhe, to it is always always beneficial as far as field work, field work is concerned all right a focused interview in, is focused in two ways number one the interviewees are similar in some ways for example they will have the same uh, educational background they'll have the same native language they'll have the same age group right agar swadesh word list mein, there are there might be certain words which are there, which they not just in the Swadesh word list, but in your during your interview process, you might have certain words which are available to only a certain group of people, a certain class of people, right? Jaise kehte hai na ki rango ke alag alag naam jo hote hain, wo aurto ko zada pata hote hain, mardo ko kam pata hote hain. So if you are eliciting color, you might want to um, look at. You might want might want to look at. Uh, women participants, you might have the gender of your participants fixed. Or on the other hand, if you want to refute this claim, that the colors of the women do not know the colors of the women, or the same type of colors of the women, there is no difference in, in how women and men perceive colors or how they name colors and so on and so forth, you might want to look at both the genders and both age groups uh, and all age groups, across age groups, so on and so forth. Aap pe depend karta hai ki aap ko kya, what is your objective? All right. Then, uh, second, its aim is to gather information about a particular topic guided by a set of focus questions, like your Swadesh word list. All right. Participants hear and interact with each other and the leader. A facilitator guides seven to eleven people in a discussion of their experiences, feelings, and preferences. Okay. Now, the, the last two points happen when you have done some kind of collection of the data already. 
आपने कर लिया है कलेक्ट आपने सौ जो वर्ड वर्ड्स हैं जो स्वादिष्ट वर्ड लिस्ट है उसका एक ढांचा आपके पास है यू हैव अ स्केलेटन यू वांट टू फ्लैश आउट द स्केलेटन यू वांट टू गिव अ राउंडेड अप्रोच टू योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दीज पर्टिकुलर वर्ड्स दैट यू हैव कलेक्टेड and then you can have an extended focus group interview with more than one participant where all of them can come into where where all of them can discuss with each other discuss with you and come to the conclusion they have is shabd ka ye translation best rahe theek hai i'll give an example we have in hindi we have in english we have this word speak cheese right cheese hota hai hamare paas c h e e s e cheese we have uh, parmesan we have uh, ricotta we have different kinds of cheese we have एक एम से एम से आता है एक मस्कारपोने चीज राइट ऑल दिस डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ चीजेस अवेलेबल बट इंडिया डज नॉट हैव चीज इन इट्स कल्चर वी हैव पनीर बट वी डोंट हैव चीज राइट सो हाउ डू यू ट्रांसलेट चीज इन हिंदी चीज को आप हिंदी में क्या बोलेंगे ठीक है और द अदर वे अराउंड हाउ डू यू ट्रांसलेट पनीर टू english nowadays you have this thing called cottage cheese but it's not really <laughs> it's not really cottage cheese but everything else mascarpone cheese ya fir kisi bhi tarah do because all of these are very specific kinds of food items which are derived from milk sari cheeze doodh se bani hai so how do you how do you translate that okay there is pahadon mein ek yak ke milk ki bani ek cheez milti hai which is called churpi ठीक है हाउ डू यू ट्रांसलेट छुरपी इन टू अर्टिकुलर टाइम डू यू बोरो दैट आइटम डू यू बोरो डू यू बोरो दैट इंफॉर्मेशन दिस एट दिस एट दिस वर्ड फॉर एग्जांपल द कम्युनिटी हैज टू गेट यू एज अ लिंग्विस्ट और यू एज एन ऑब्जर्वर As an interviewer, interviewer do not get to decide कि आप उस ब्लॉक के बगल में जहां पे आपको ट्रांसलेशन लिखना है आप क्या लिखेंगे आप नहीं डिसाइड करेंगे ये कम्युनिटी डिसाइड करती इफ यू हैव मोर देन वन ट्रांसलेशन द सेम आइटम यू आस्क मोर देन वन पीपल यू आस्क अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल की विच इज द बेस्ट which is the best option for that particular item for the linguistic item for that particular lexical item you record all of the uh, got all of the all of the options which are available and you also give the data ki kaun se option ko sabse zyada support mila hua hai your job as a linguist is not to decide ki in char translations mein se kaun sa translation mujhe acha lag raha hai nahi aapko charo report karne hain आप चारों में डेटा लगाएंगे कि अच्छा पहले वाले को 50 परसेंट लोगों ने पहले वाले को हाँ बोला सेकंड वाले ऑप्शन को इतने लोगों ने हाँ बोला थर्ड वाले ऑप्शन को इतने लोगों ने हाँ बोला सो बट देर वाज एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट ऑल ऑफ दिस कैन बी कैन बी द ट्रांसलेशंस ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर सो फोकस्ड ग्रुप ग्रुप इंटरव्यूज हेल्प यू रीच दिस काइंड ऑफ हेल्प यू रिकॉर्ड दिस काइंड ऑफ डेटा हेल्प यू रीच बुक टू योर डेटा ठीक है क्योंकि जब भी आप लिंग्विस्टिक डेटा इकट्ठा कर रहे होते हो आप आप हमेशा एक बहुत टेंडेंसी होती है कि आपके पास अगर एक इन्फॉर्मेंट है एक इन्फॉर्मेंट से आपने इन्फॉर्मेशन ले लिया आपको लगता है ये लैंग्वेज तो अगर इतने सारे लोग ये भाषा बोल रहे हैं तो सब लोग यही बोलते होंगे देर इज अ टेंडेंसी टू जनरलाइज लिंग्विस्टिक इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑलवेज स्पेसिफिकली जनरलाइजेशन के और इस टेंडेंसी का अगेंस्ट काम करना है यू ऑलवेज नीड टू रिमेम्बर दैट दैट्स नॉट योर जॉब ठीक आप एज यू कैन ओनली डिस्क्राइब समथिंग विच इज एन अ फिनोमिन इन द लैंग्वेज यू कैन नॉट डिसाइड वेदर दैट डिपेंडिंग ऑन वेदर यू लाइक इट और नॉट बिकॉज कॉन्फर्मेशन बायस हर किसी हर किसी में होता है वी ऑल ऑफ आर सफर From confirmation bias. For example, जैसे होता है ना कि अगर आपको अगर आपको लग रहा है कि सामने वाला झूठ बोल रहा है या फिर कोई बंदा है जो झूठ बोल रहा है या फिर किसी आपके दोस्ती में सामने वाला झूठ बोल रहा है and so happens that it can be hoga kya you want to confirm something look for evidence that is some okay confirmation bias but then that's not your job you do not need to confirm anything you need to report what you observe all right description is your job not prescription all right
Now, friends are the your best friends when you are working they can be created for every single purpose agar aap like grammaticality dekhni hai ki koi sentence grammatical hai ya nahi aapne ek sentence aap usko question ke hisab se samne wale ko de rahe hain acha find aap isko answer kijiye whether this is grammatical or not question is agar written hote hain tick karne wale hote hain gola karne wale hote hain they are always the best they always give the best results when you have something on paper something which is quick something which is some, 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 something which is easy now this are these are psychological things when questionnaires are more than one page it automatic informant kill karna padega type se to unko automatically aise lagne lag jata hai so it doesn't matter if you have to have more than one sessions reduce your questionnaires so that they, so that they can fit in one um one one uh, page all right uh, ho sakta hai again ho sakta hai ki aapko usse zyada questions ki zarurat pade book more sessions with the with the informant give them more questionnaires but always make sure that now this is something which i think is beneficial which is which has helped me when uh, my questionnaires have been short and my questionnaires have been pointed and it have been they have been able to use tick marks or gola karne wala or one line sentences when it comes to answering questions they're always the best when something like that happens all right it's similar to structured interviews obviously because uh, they are the items are close ended aapke paas ya to yes no questions hote hain ya fir ek single sentence ka answer hota hai of course you could have a a broader uh, answer based questionnaire as well depend karta hai ki aap kya elicit karna chahte hain theek स्वादिष्ट वर्ड लिस्ट इन सेल्फ अगर आप उसको एकदम बेसिक तरीके से देखेंगे तो इट इज लाइक अ क्वेश्चन इसे क्या कहते हैं मोस्ट बेसिक एंड एंड दी मोस्ट स्ट्रक्चर क्वेश्चन इट कैन ब्रॉडकास्ट और एनालाइज इजिली देने की कोशिश करते हैं एंड analyze analysis uska easy hota hai agar aap already uh, me feed karke ki this is the answer that i want and this person gives this kind of answer this is the score that they are they are going to have now again question is banate hue second language of respondent agar aap native language unki elicit karna chahte hain lekin obviously you will be speaking to them in a language which is common to you which is probably not their native language isliye you have to be very clear and unambiguous when you are asking your question questionnaires are best when they when agar aapko long form answers chahiye aapko descriptive answers chahiye always stick to the hows and the whys questions mein agar how or why hota hai then you have more answers when then you have long form answers instead of uh, let's say a what राइट right? या फिर यस नो क्वेश्चन अगर होता है तो उसमें आपको सिर्फ यस yes, नो no जवाब मिलता है अगर व्हाट का क्वेश्चन में जो जिसमें आप क्या सवाल सवाल पूछ रहे हैं कि क्या पर्टिकुलर कोई चीज है क्या का आंसर अगर उनको देना है तो उसमें यूजुअली वन वर्ड आंसर होता है या फिर वन सेंटेंस आंसर होता है इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर लॉन्गर फॉर्म आंसर यू आस द वॉट एंड द वाइज राइट सो अगेन दीज आर क्वेश्चन एज योर बेस्ट फ्रेंड नाउ वी हैव प्रोडक्शन टास्क प्रोडक्शन टास्क आपके एलिसिटेशन में बहुत एसेंशियल होते हैं इनफैक्ट दे आर दे आर दे आर लाइक योर दे आर द दे आर द मेजिशियन ट्रिक राइट बिकॉज प्रोडक्शन टास्क में आप आप एक uh, एक तरीके का ट्रिक करते हो कि आप करने के लिए कुछ कह रहे हो बंदे से या इन्फॉर्मेंस से और वो कर रहा है लेकिन उसमें आपको एलिसिट आप कुछ और करना कुछ 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 और इन्फॉर्मेशन आपको मिल रहा है इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ इंटरव्यू एंड क्वेश्चन एयर मोस्ट इन ऑर्डर टू एलिसिट डिजायर स्ट्रक्चर ठीक है, वक्त को देखना टाइम को देखना पौने पौने साढ़े सात इस तरीके के जो ये सारे जो स्ट्रक्चर हैं, ये सारे जो दिज आर लैंग्वेस्टिक स्ट्रक्चर राइट एंड देर आर डिफरेंट कल्चर व्यू टाइम डिफरेंटली हम लोग जैसे अगर अगर हम लोग अगर हिंदी में देखें तो पौने और सवा का मेजरमेंट चलता है ठीक है languages in our country itself jisme 20 20 ka chalta hai
Hello, am I am I audible? Uh, yes, Mona ji, you are audible. Madam, Kakoti uh, madam ka ye chala gaya hai, audio visual sab kuch band ho gaya hai, sirf unka... Let, let me, let me, ha, main dek tiyo. Sorry, me. Uh, life chali gayi. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Yes, yes, yes. Can. Okay, I will. Uh, I'll switch off. Uh, it's more clear. We will do the same if you want. I will. Exactly. Let me just share my screen. If uh, I'm yeah. audible clearly, I should be. It should be all right. I'm yeah, you're, right? you're audible. You're audible. Wonderful. So production tasks. Production tasks. क्या होते हैं कि आप combination करते हैं interview का और question question questionnaire का and आप figure out करते हैं और production tasks में होता है कि आप ट्रिक से आपके जो एलिसिट करना चाहते हैं आप स्ट्रक्चर उसको निकालने की कोशिश करते हैं हम समय की बात कर रहे थे समय हम लोग हिंदी में वी वी टॉक अबाउट टॉक अबाउट पोने नो एंड सवानो आई स्टिल कैन नॉट गेट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पोने नो एंड सवानो बिकॉज बट बट देर आर अगेन देर आर कल्चर विच विच ऑब्जर्व टाइम इन मैटर्स ऑफ टू डू हाउ डू दे हाउ डू हाउ डू दे बचपन में हम लोग के बहुत सेट रहता था कि सुबह दस बजे कैप्टन व्योम आएगा ग्यारह बजे अलादीन आएगा एंड सो एंड सो फोर वी हैव दाइमराइज तो द कल्चर विच सी ट्वेंटीज मेमोराइज टाइम इन ट्वेंटीज यू विल हैव टू आस्क दम क्वेश्चन यू विल हैव टू एलिसिट दैट काइंड ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन आई ऑल्सो गिव यू अनादर एग्जाम्पल आई वॉज वर्किंग विथ विथ ऑलजाइमस डिजीज पेशेंट बिकॉज मेरा पी एच डी ऑलजाइमस डिजीज के साथ था एंड ऑलजाइमस डिजीज पेशेंट्स हैव डिफिकल्टी इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग टाइम एंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ टाइम एंड सो एंड सो फोर तो उसमें उनको मैंने लिटरली एक घड़ी सामने उनके रख दी थी एंड घड़ी में मैंने उनको टाइम घुमाने के लिए मिनट का काटा और ये काटा घुमाने के लिए बोला था कि अच्छा आप दिखाइए नौ बज के बीस मिनट कैसे बजते हैं ठीक है तो दे वुड एक्चुअली मूव द मूव द मूव द हैंड्स ऑफ द क्लॉक इन ऑर्डर टू शो व्हाट पर्टिकुलर टाइम इट इज नाउ वाइल डूइंग दैट वाइल डूइंग दैट द पर्सन वुड यूज अ स्ट्रक्चर अभी नौ बज के बीस मिनट हुए हैं सो यू एंड यू नो द यू नो वट you have you have extracted this information you have elicited this particular grammatical structure 5 minute pehle kya time tha tab aap jab 5 minute pehle ka wo time batayenge you have elicited another grammatical structure so you have production tasks you combine interviews and questionnaires and more uh, uh, question and modes and you have a desired structure it involves the use of a designed activity it has discourse completion ye alag alag examples hai production tasks ke this course completion role play description of an image or using objects to tell a story this course completion is exactly all right light aa gayi isliye video bhi aa gaya uh this course completion is uh, when jab aap ek particular scenario dete ho jaise aap unko scenario de rahe ho ki acha uh, maan lijiye aapke ghar mein koi mehman aaya hai theek hai mehman aaya hai ghar mein बिस्कुट खत्म हो गया है तो अब आप क्या करें अब आप इस चीज को कैसे संभालेंगे इस डिस्कोर्स को कंप्लीट कीजिए ठीक है इन दैट केस यू हैव इंफॉर्मेशन यू आर यू ट्राई यू आर यू वांट टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द डेटा कि इंपेरेटिव सेंटेंस या ऑर्डर टू गिव ऑर्डर्स इसका सेंटेंस आप इसका स्ट्रक्चर 
आ, कैसे यूज करते हैं तो ऑब्वियसली अब आपके घर में अगर कुछ सामान खत्म हो गया आप किसी से कहेंगे कि वो जाके सामान लेके आए अगर आप पति से कह रहे हैं तो उसका एक स्ट्रक्चर अलग होगा अगर आप बेटे से कह रहे हैं उसका स्ट्रक्चर अलग होगा अगर आप अपने घर के डोमेस्टिक डोमेस्टिक वर्कर से कह रहे हैं तो उसका स्ट्रक्चर अलग होगा स्ट्रक्चर हो सकता है ठीक है टोन अलग होगा इंटोनेशन अलग होगी मे बी प्रोडाउंस अलग होंगे या कहने का तरीका अलग होगा क्या आप बाजार से बिस्कुट लेके आ सकते हैं या फिर अगर बेटे को बोलेंगे जाओ बिस्कुट लेके आओ हेल्पर को बोलेंगे या वो डोमेस्टिक वर्कर को बोलेंगे तो कोई और एक स्ट्रक्चर हो सकता है सो ऑल ऑफ दीज यू यू वॉन्ट टू एलिसिट सो यू हैव गिवन अर्टिकुलर डिस्कोर्स यू है गिवन अ पर्टिकुलर सिनारियो और उसको कंप्लीट करना है ठीक है Then of role play. आप रोल प्ले करते हैं अच्छा ठीक है मैं स्टूडेंट हूँ मैंने कोई गलती करी है मैंने कोई क्लास में गलती की है तो आप मुझे बताइए कि अब अब आप, आप टीचर हैं आप क्या करेंगे ठीक यू हैव रोल प्ले सिनारियोज वेर सर्टन अगेन ऑल स्ट्रक्चर यू हैव डिजाइन इट इन सच वे दैट देर इज अ पोलिट that that there is a uh, one second let me just quickly connect myself to the all right i'll share my screen again I apologize for all of this, uh, yeah, because uh, does anybody have any questions so far? अगर कोई भी सवाल है तो आप लोग पूछ सकते हैं otherwise I'll just continue. Okay, so one of the one of the most common things which you do, one of the most common things which you uh, do as a production task is the description of an image. I'll give you an example. For example, this is the image that you have. Okay. Now, if I ask you, if I ask you, what do you see? You see a bunch of children, right? You can see that there are girls and boys in this image. Okay. So, आपको, but then the word, the 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 word. If, for example, in Hindi, if you have to explain this in Hindi, how do you say बच्चे? बच्चे खेल रहे हैं. ठीक है, सो बच्चे इज अ जेंडर न्यूट्रल टर्म यू कैन यूज इट फॉर बोथ फॉर मेल बच्चे एंड फीमेल बच्चे राइट बट यू कैन टॉक अबाउट कि लड़कियां हैं लड़के हैं एक लड़की पेंटिंग कर रही है एक लड़का दूरबीन से कुछ देख रहा है सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ हियर यू हैव अ वेरी क्लियर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दी प्रोग्रेसिव एस्पेक्ट द हिंदी में जो प्रोग्रेसिव एस्पेक्ट होता है उसका आपको एलिसिटेशन मिलता है यू हैव दीज डिफरेंट चिल्ड्रन डूइंग डिफरेंट टास्क इन दिस पर्टिकुलर इमेज एंड यू कैन एलिसिट दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन यू कैन ऑल्सो एलिसिट डिफरेंट ऑल डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन एक सिंगल फोटोग्राफ से आपको बहुत सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन मिल सकती है इस पर्टिकुलर फोटोग्राफ में आपको इन्फॉर्मेशन मिल सकती है कि रंगों के बारे में डिस्क्राइब द कलर्स दैट यू सी वट वट कलर्स डू यू सी इन दिस इमेज ठीक है जेंडर के बारे में वट हु डू यू सी इन दिस इमेज ठीक है एक्शन के बारे में वर्ब्स एक्शन वर्ड्स के बारे में कोई झूल रहा है कोई किताब पढ़ रहा है कोई पेंटिंग कर रहा है कोई देख रहा है कोई खेल रहा है कोई कूद रहा है ठीक है एक्शन वर्ड्स आपको इसमें इसमें मिल सकते हैं यू कैन ऑल्सो फाइन वोकेबलरी वर्ड्स पेंटिंग में ईजल है दर द पर्सन इज पेंटिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड इन ईजल इन इंग्लिश इज देर अ पर्टिकुलर वर्ड फॉर दैट इन हिंदी is there a particular word for that in the target language that you are looking for colors hain alag alag lal hai pink hai yellow hai black hai all these different colors are there theek hai so um this kind of so different kinds of information that you there there are different kinds of information that you get you can also get information about the kind of clothes that they are wearing socks pehne hue hain joote pehne hue hain t-shirt pehna hua hai top pehna hua hai tunic pehna hua hai The, again now did you see that every single word that i used was uh, other than jute jute were in english so in order to uh, elicit that in hindi a probative question puchhenge acha jute uh, socks ko hindi mein kya bolte hain koi jurabe bolega koi mujhe bolega koi kuch aur bhi bol sakta hai and so on and so forth right so very simple a uh, one single picture can give you the information can give you a lot of information right 
तो आप उनको एक 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 पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन के थ्रू भी ले सकते हैं यू कैन एलिसिट यू कैन लेट देम यू नो हैव अ फ्री फ्लोइंग डिस्कशन और हैव अ फ्री फ्लोइंग डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर ये पिक्चर एंड यू कैन फिगर आउट हाउ दे यूज देयर सेंटेंसेस व्हेन दे हैव टू डिस्क्राइब इन द लेट्स से द प्रोग्रेसिव एस्पेक्ट और इन द इन डिक्लेरेटिव सेंटेंसेस एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फॉर और यू कैन आस्क पॉइंटेड क्वेश्चंस अबाउट द आइटम्स दैट यू वांट फिगर्ड आउट और आइटम्स दैट यू वांट पॉइंटेड आउट इन um in a particular picture ठीक है एक बहुत फेमस एग्जांपल है प्रोडक्शन टास्क का जिसमें दो चूहे होते हैं और वो दो चूहे एक बिल से निकल कर सॉरी एक उनके घर से निकल कर एक दूसरे के एक दूसरे से मारपीट कर रहे हैं और एक चूहे ने सर पे फूल पहन रखा है और दूसरे चूहे ने सर पे कुछ और तरीके का एक हैट टाइप का पहन रखा है इट्स अ वेरी वेरी Fame, it's famous because it has been used in number of elicitation tasks and in number of uh, picture description tasks another another very famous um, picture description task is of a a particular uh, kitchen ka um सीन है जिसमें मम्मी जिसमें जो महिला होती है वो एक वो बर्तन वो कुछ कर रही होती है वो चाय बना रही होती है और इधर बर्तन के सिंक में पानी ओवरफ्लो हो गया है उधर बच्चा रो रहा है इट्स वेरी क्योटिक सो वेन यू हैव ऑल ऑफ दैट काइंड ऑफ uh the the lot of information in one particular image it's very beneficial to you as a researcher as somebody who is looking for different structures to find out uh ki kis tarike ke structures informant use karta hai us particular picture ko describe karne ke liye uh wo kare however again like everything we have problems while applying picture description task you should come up with a prompt that does not include the target structure for example agar hum log टारगेट स्ट्रक्चर ढूंढ रहे हैं कि अगर कोई अगर एक पिक्चर है जिसमें टीचर ऑर्डर दे रहा है ठीक है या फिर टीचर डांट रहा है किसी को तो आप अगर सवाल पूछेंगे कि क्या टीचर डांट रहा है तो देर विल बी देर माइट बी अ प्री कंसेप्शन अ मिसकनसेप्शन नॉट मिसकनसेप्शन बट एक इम्प्रेशन आ सकता है इन्फॉर्मेंट पर कि हाँ हो सकता है कि टीचर हो सकता है टीचर इस पिक्चर में डांट रहे ठीक है तो दे माइट से येस और नो और दे माइट अगेन दिस इज लाइक द लीडिंग क्वेश्चन एंड द लीडिंग क्वेश्चन दैट यू आर दैट यू नीड टू अवॉइड यू ऑल्सो नीड टू अवॉइड अ प्रॉम दैट डज नॉट इन टू द टारगेट स्ट्रक्चर यू कैन जस्ट से डिस्क्राइब दिस पिक्चर टू मी राइट इफ द इन्फॉर्मेंट डज नॉट अटर द टारगेट आइटम इट डज नॉट मीन दैट ही और शी हैज नॉट एक्वायर्ड इट ठीक है या उनकी लैंग्वेज में नहीं है ऐसा नहीं है आप प्रोब कीजिए यू आस्क लीडिंग क्वेश्चन यू फाइंड आउट यू हैव टू सो वो एक वो एक समथिंग वो एक ऐसी चीज होती है जो आपको एज ए लिंग्विस्ट आपको एज अज एज एन इंटरव्यू वो आपको एंटिसिपेट करनी होती है कि अच्छा ऐसा होगा राइट एंड देर आर अदर अदर थिंग्स विच आर अगेन लाइक आई सेट सीम वेरी कॉमन सेंस बट आर सम थिंग्स विच विच नीड टू बी विच नीड टू बी स्पेल्ट आउट the language that is stimulated by the elicitation instrument might be the result of the instrument itself for example uh, as bsm cartoons generally uh, syntactic uh, generally show people show people doing things present progressive appeared with great regularity like jo maine aapko abhi thodi der pehle photograph dikhai we talked about how progressive is uh, was something which was very commonly elicited to wo hota hi hai kyunki agar jab aap picture dikhate ho na to usually logo ka logo ka pehla reaction hota hai bolna ki koi kya kar raha hai ya kya cheez ho rahi hai right that's usually the first impression because a picture is frozen in time so it's always it gives the impression that something is happening all right so हेलो हेलो फिर से लाइट गई लगता है इलेक्ट्रिसिटी का फिर से लाइट चली वील वेट आप हाँ वेट करिए मैं कॉल कर रही हूँ देखती हूँ कोई बात नहीं
Hi, I apologize again. That's perfectly fine. We'll wait. We'll wait till your uh, the current comes back. It's okay. And वो फिर पता नहीं कभी आएगी. This is <laughs> Uttar Pradesh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, I don't know why my screen is not coming. अच्छा अच्छा हो सकता है because it's like uh, the internet is very slow. Can you can you see no? We we cannot see any uh, slide, but we can hear you. Um, I think it should be there now. Screen नहीं दिख रहा है माधुरी लेकिन आवाज सुनाई पड़ रही है. हाँ अब शेयर हो रहा है लेकिन अभी आया नहीं है. Can you share नहीं हो रहा है. हाँ, I think it will be visible now. हम्म, ठीक है? Yes, yes, हाँ. absolutely. Okay, so we uh, we have we just saw the the problems while you are applying descript picture description tasks. Let me quickly go on to because uh, I need to I need to cover something which is very essential. इसीलिए uh, <laughs> I will I I'll I'll not talk about the advantages and disadvantages. All of us know what are the disadvantages. of the elicitation procedure apna confirmation bias aa sakta hai jo aap uh, information dhoondne ki koshish kar rahe hain ho sakta hai ki aap us information ko uh, aap us information ko feed karne lag jaye aap us information ko samne wale ko informant ko apne khud hi pr provide karne lag jaye aur wo uh, banda uh, jo informant hai wo sirf yes no question karke jana chahe aur apna jo jo bhi hai they they have they have work to do they are busy so they don't want to answer your questions all of these things can happen these are human errors Okay. Other relevant issues may be ignored while determining determining in advance what is going to be considered relevant. Okay. Ah, uh, or sometimes sometimes such happens. 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 things that you need to keep in mind when you are going into the field for the first time or jab aap field mein jaate hain ab aap field mein pahunch chuke hain ye to aapne apna background information kar liya aapne apni informants decide kar liye aapne apna questionnaire decide kar liya aapne ye decide aapne apne objectives decide kar liye kar liye objectives as in aapko kya elicit karna hai what you want to elicit what you want as information jab aap चार दिन बाद या हफ्ते भर बाद या एक महीने बाद फील्ड से वापस आएंगे आपके पास कौन सा इंफॉर्मेशन होना चाहिए यू हैव ऑल ऑफ दिस फिगर्ड आउट ये आपने अपना मेंटल जिम्नास्टिक्स मेंटल एक्सरसाइजेस कर लिए अब बात अब अब बात आती है अब बारी आती है फील्ड पर जाने की यू आर ऑन फील्ड फील्ड में आपके पास क्या क्या होना चाहिए यू शुड हैव रिकॉर्डिंग इक्विपमेंट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड योर रिकॉर्डिंग प्रोसेस यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड की किस चीज को आप रिकॉर्ड कर रहे हैं कैसे रिकॉर्ड कर रहे हैं सेपरेट फाइल रखने हैं या बिग फाइल करना है नेमिंग और फाइल नेमिंग कैसे होनी है नाउ समथिंग लाइक फाइल नेमिंग आपको लग रहा होगा कि ये ये भी कोई पढ़ने की बात है ये भी कोई सीखने की बात है एब्सोल्युटली नॉट बिकॉज एब्सोल्युटली यस एब्सोल्युटली यस वाई बिकॉज जब आप डेटा इकट्ठा करके बाद में एनालाइज करने बैठते हैं ना अगर आपको एक इंफॉर्मेशन आपने इकट्ठा की फॉर एग्जांपल आपने कहीं पे इकट्ठा किया कि झूला झूलने को क्या बोलते हैं ठीक है अब अगर आपने सौ वर्ड इकट्ठे किए हैं और आपको झूला झूलना ढूंढने के लिए सौ फाइल ऑडियो सुननी पड़ जाए तो आपको उतना ही टाइम लगेगा जितना आपको फील्ड पे लगा है ठीक है सो नेमिंग फाइल्स आई हैव आई स्ट्रेस दिस इन एवरी सिंगल वर्कशॉप विच आई गिव नेमिंग फाइल्स इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट यू विल नीड टू डू बिकॉज दिस इज गोइंग टू सेव यू सो मच टाइम दिस लिटिल थिंग ऑफ नेमिंग इट प्रॉपरली एंड स्टोरिंग इट उस नेमिंग आप एक बार प्रॉपरली नेम करो उसके बाद आपको स्टोर आप कहीं भी कर लो इट्स डिफरेंट थिंग बट नेमिंग फाइल्स इज सो एक्सट्रीमली बिग इंपॉर्टेंट ऑफ ह्यूज इंपॉर्टेंट विल सी दिस अभी इन द इवेंचुअल स्लाइड Now this is your recording equipment. Recording में सबसे ज्यादा जरूरी होता है ऑडियो स्पेशली इफ यू आर डूइंग लेट से फोनोलॉजिकल स्टडी इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट फॉर्म एंड स्ट्रक्चर इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट बावल स्ट्रक्चर इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट बावल स्पेस अकूस्टिक स्पेस इन सारी चीजों के लिए आपकी रिकॉर्डिंग सही होना जरूरी है रिकॉर्डिंग सही होने के लिए दिस स्मॉल लेपल माइक इज अज अ लाइफ सेवर आजकल हमारे फोन वगैरह में भी 
दिए होते हैं सब कुछ हमारा फोन वगैरह इज इक्विप्ड विथ माइक एंड एवरीथिंग बट इट कैचेज अ लॉट ऑफ आउटसाइड नॉइज इट कैचेज अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रैफिक इट कैचेज कभी कभी सांस भी आप लेते हो वो भी आपके उसमें आ जाता है एंड यू ऑलवेज है यू नो मूव योर फोन फ्रॉम योर फ्रॉम नियर यू टू द टू दी सामने वाला पर्सन के विसिनिटी में आपको फोन अपना मूव करना पड़ता है सो माइक इज ऑलवेज इट्स अ गुड इन्वेस्टमेंट बहुत आजकल बहुत सस्ते सस्ते में आपको माइक मिल जा रहे हैं देर आर ऑब्वियसली वेरी एक्सपेंसिव माइक्स एज वेल माइक्रोफोन एज वेल अगर आप फोन दिस इज अगेन दिस इज अगेन फॉर दोज यू हु आर वर्किंग विथ फोन हु प्लान टू रिक record with phones if you are not recording with phones a sony camcorder sony recorder is always the best option theek hai zoom ke bhi recorders aate hain zoom with x o o m and not z o o m i think maybe dekh lena ek bari their recorders are also very good and they record in mp3 mp4 wav files etc and so on and so forth because agar aap phonological studies agar aap karte hain phonological study agar aap karte hain to there are certain software jisme certain type ke files hi accepted hote hain dot aac file bhi ek hota hai yes the all of these are different kinds of sound files and depending on the uh, on the on the software that you will be using for phonological studies or phonological analysis depend karta hai aap kaun si file किस तरीके का आप साउंड फाइल चाहते हैं एंड द सोनी सोनी रिकॉर्डर्स और द जूम रिकॉर्डर्स आर ऑलवेज बेस्ट बिकॉज दे गिव यू द ऑप्शन ऑफ सेविंग अ फाइल इन अ पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मेट सो दैट दैट पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मेट कैन बी यूज्ड लेटर ऑन इन योर फोनोलॉजिकल एनालिसिस सो माइक्रोफोन इज ऑलवेज योर बेस्ट फ्रेंड इफ यू डोंट हैव इफ इफ एंड अगेन दिस इज ओनली इफ यू आर वर्किंग विथ विथ योर फोन एंड नॉट यूजिंग अ सेपरेट रिकॉर्डर सेपरेट वॉइस रिकॉर्डर then you need to have a tripod and a camera camera again when you do not have when you do not when you're not working on your phone or when you're not working or not using your phone if you are working your phone well and good agar aap phone istemal kare phir bhi tripod is your best friend always invest in a tripod tripods me phone ki stability aati hai tripods me um say it's it's a frame aapka better aata hai you do not have to use your selfie camera you can use the back camera the ca- the cam- the video quality is better ठीक है और आप इट विल बी इजियर फॉर यू टू यू नो एक फोन पकड़ पकड़ के आपको नहीं करना है ट्राईपोर्ट से अगर एक जगह पे सेट है आप दोनों आदमी सामने इन्फॉर्मेंट के साथ आप बैठ कर यू कैन एक्चुअली डू द रिकॉर्डिंग एंड यू कैन एक्चुअली हैव द the the kind of एलिस्ट्रेशन यू कैन एक्चुअली डू द रिकॉर्डिंग दैट यू वॉन्ट विथ वन सेकेंड all right so that is this is the information that you uh, so, so this is the equipment again you do not need to invest in a very expensive camera camera aap sasta bhi le sakte hain koi zaruri nahi hai phone se bhi ho sakta hai and this again is only essential if you are doing video recordings if you want uh, your data on video recording aaj tak bahut sare bahut sara aisa data collect hua hai jo sirf voice recorder se in fact jab uh, kavita ma'am kaam kar rahi thi in the initial 20 years uh, she did it using a very simple voice recorder itself and and the work that she has done is phenomenal depend karta hai again when you are working with languages when you are working with any community your equipment does not it's not the first thing or it's not the most important thing important thing is the data or data ko agar aapko mehnat kam karni hai to aap uh, equipment mein invest kar sakte hain agar aap chahte hain ki let's say um uh, सारी चीजें हमको दोबारा सारी चीजें मेमोरी पे ना पेस्ट हो या सारी चीजें हमको याद ना रखनी पड़े इट्स ऑलवेज ऑलवेज द बेस्ट और आज की डेट में व्हेन यू आर वर्किंग विद लैंग्वेजेस स्पेशली विद इन विद एंडेंजर्ड लैंग्वेजेस इन्वेस्टिंग इन अ कैमरा इज अ गुड ऑप्शन इज अ गुड आइडिया बिकॉज मेन देर आर सेवर देन दिस इज अ वेरी प्रैक्टिकल अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस अ वेरी प्रैक्टिकल वे ऑफ अप्रोचिंग थिंग्स बिकॉज देर आर मेनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच आर गिविंग आउट फंड फॉर आर्काइवल डेटा for data which can be archived for data which which is of course ab ab video recording kis cheez ki karte ho community ke practices ki video recording karte ho aap recording karte ho wahan pe shaadiyan kaise hoti hain gaane kaise gaaye jate hain dances kaise hote hain dance kaisa hota hai uh, music kis tarike ka hota hai koi musical instrument agar hai us instrument ko banane banaya kaise ja sakta hai different processes etc there are many organizations which are giving out uh, grants to record these particular uh, events and record these kind of data belonging to communities so isliye investing in a camera is a good practical option uh, this the, again that is this is not linguistic information but this is like practical uh, understanding now we come to the absolutely most important thing that i think is there in as far as data collection is concerned is naming your file 
Now, why is naming your file important? Again, like I said, when you have data record, you have done audio recording. Kar For example, Swadish word list, you have audio recording. Kar you have 100 different files. Okay? पहले आप ये डिसाइड करो कि फाइल आपकी 100 फाइलें अलग सौ फाइलें होंगी अलग अलग वर्ड के अलग अलग फाइल होगी या आपका एक बड़ा फाइल होगा वन बिग फाइल दैट यू विल हैव ठीक है ये आपको डिसाइड करना इट्स ऑलवेज बेटर ऑलवेज बेटर टू हैव स्मॉल चंक्स ऑफ योर फाइल व्हाई व्हाई इज इट बेटर टू हैव स्मॉलर चंक्स ऑफ योर फाइल बिकॉज ड्यूरिंग रिकॉर्डिंग हो सकता है बीच में कुछ गड़बड़ हो गई अगर बीच में कुछ गड़बड़ हो गई आप सौ रिकॉर्डिंग सौ वर्ड्स की रिकॉर्डिंग कर रहे थे सेवेंटी नाइन वर्ड आपने रिकॉर्ड कर लिए हैं एटी वर्ड में आप पहुंचे हो और फाइल में गड़बड़ी आ गई तो आपको शुरुआत से फिर शुरू करना पड़ेगा राइट सो इट्स ऑलवेज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट्स ऑलवेज बेटर टू हैव स्मॉलर चंक्स स्मॉलर फाइल ठीक ज्यादा टाइम अगर ज्यादा लंबी फाइल होती है ज्यादा बड़ी फाइल होती है तो क्या होता है स्पेस उसका ज्यादा होता है इट इज मोर जीबीज इट टेक्स मोर जी बीज हो सकता है अगर आप फाइल नेमिंग कर जो हो सकता है आप रिकॉर्डिंग कर रहे हैं करते करते आपके फोन का स्पेस फुल हो गया बिकॉज आपने एच डी में रिकॉर्डिंग कर रहे थे और अब अब आपके फोन में स्पेस नहीं है अब आपको वो फाइल पहले ट्रांसफर करनी पड़ेगी तभी आप दूसरी फाइल रिकॉर्ड करने के काबिल रहेंगे राइट सो ऑलवेज इट इज ऑलवेज अ बेटर आइडिया टू हैव स्मॉलर चंक्स स्मॉलर फाइल्स इट्स इट्स द बेस्ट वेन यू आर हैविंग वेन यू हैव स्मॉलर फाइल्स बिकॉज इट इज ईजियर टू स्टोर दम इट्स ईजियर टू रिकॉर्ड दम इट्स ईजियर टू मैनेज ठीक आपने डिसाइड कर लिया है कि छोटे छोटे फाइल्स होने हैं अगर वर्ड्स हैं फॉर एग्जांपल स्वादिष्ट वर्ड लिस्ट है हर शब्द को हर वर्ड को आपको तीन बार रिकॉर्ड करना है ठीक है यू नीड टू रिकॉर्ड इट थ्री टाइम्स नॉट जस्ट वंस फॉर एग्जांपल अगर हमने इयर का कोई शब्द निकाला है इयर रिंग्स ऑल दो दीज आर नॉट इन इट्स नॉट देर इन द स्वादिश वर्ड लिस्ट बिकॉज इयर इज नॉट ए कल्चरली यूनिवर्सल आइटम बट अगर मान लो इयर है झुमका तो आपको तीन बार रिकॉर्ड करवाना है झुमका 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 तरीके से आपको किस तरीके से उन्हें चीजें रिकॉर्ड करनी किस तरीके से उन्हें शब्द का ट्रांसलेशन किस तरीके से उन्हें शब्द का ट्रांसलेशन देना है okay can can is 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 it okay is it fine now theek hai all right so kis tarah ke you have to display to your informant first ki is tarah se hum logo ye this is how you will uh, answer me you will record you will say everything we will repeat every word three times for a minute yes, yes. Uh, in between uh, the the frame froze while you were repeating jhumka jhumka after that the frame froze could you repeat that part again okay Um, I'm sorry to interrupt. I also want to add something regard actually spe specifically regarding the Swadesh word list. Hama. Because, ha, because uh, in future they are going to collect uh, Swadesh word list. Huh? So, um, one most important thing try to remember: you have to collect each word in separate file, as uh, as Dr. Kakuti mentioned. So, uh, make you will have. Either hundred or more than hundred. Why you are going to have more than hundred? Sometimes in some mm -hmm. languages, we have two words for same word. The Swadesh word list, original Swadesh word list, is English. You will you will have a Hindi translation also. So you are not supposed to utter the either English word or Hindi word. There are they are numbered. the word the list is numbered so what you have to do just utter the number one and the one uh, and the word the which is jo jo wahan par likha hua hai jaise one pe i hai english mein ya hindi mein main hai na aapko i bolna hai na aapko main bolna hai aap jis bhasha mein wo shabd collect kar rahe hain aapko us shabd ko teen baar bolna hai जैसे इफ आई गिव यू एग्जाम्पल ऑफ राजी देन आई विल माई फर्स्ट रिकॉर्डिंग विल बी आई नंग 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 देन क्लोज द रिकॉर्डर एंड नेम द फाइव लेकिन इन कुछ भाषाओं में जैसे हिंदी में ही मैं के लिए एक ऑनरिफिक होता है आप तो वॉट वी डू वी से वन ए मैं 
मैं मैं वन बी आप 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 सो लाइक वाइज इफ यू हैव मोर देन हंड्रेड वर्ड्स देन यू यू विल हैव टू यू विल हैव मोर रिकॉर्डिंग्स सो दैट्स ऑल सॉरी टू इंटरप्ट यू माधुरी बट आई थॉट मैं एक्चुअली मुझे लगता है कि जहां जब फ्रोज फ्रीज हो गए तब ये चला गया because I did speak about this मैंने दूसरी फ्रोज़ वाले टाइम पे I was talking about this only क्योंकि आप क्योंकि again सौ शब्दों का एक फाइल आप बनाओगे तो आपको आपको खुद ही दिक्कत होगी उसको ट्रांसफर करने में भी दिक्कत होगी सुनने में भी दिक्कत होगी if you want to listen to one particular word the word number eighty nine you have to listen to all of it first और या फिर ढूंढते ढूंढते जाओ right The network is not proper, I think. I have the. ठीक है, so all of this, this is happening. This is happening when uh, this is in my my master Excel sheet. I have an Excel sheet created which is which is all of these headings. The moment I have recorded something, the moment I have recorded a a a a file, the first thing I do is name it. Okay, I save it. I have saved it. How save it? How save it? For example, I'm working with Hindi. H I N is the ISO code of Hindi. This is my in my in my name. If I'm looking, uh, this is my name, but this is यहाँ पे मा इसमें की जगह इन्फॉर्मेंट का आईडी होता है ठीक है इफ आई एम द वन हु इज हु इज कलेक्टिंग द वर्ड लिस्ट आई एम द वन हु इज ट्रांसलेटिंग द वर्ड लिस्ट ऑफकोर्स आई एम द इन्फॉर्मेंट सो इसलिए मेरा नाम इन्फॉर्मेंट की जगह है अदरवाइज यहां पे इन्फॉर्मेंट का ही नाम होता है ठीक है यू दिस इज अगेन दिस इज माय कोड दिस इज माय वे ऑफ नेमिंग फाइल्स सॉरी सॉरी देयर इज अ देयर इज अ डाउट हियर कैन आई जस्ट इंटरप्ट फॉर अ मिनट वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हैज अ डाउट Please go on. Hello, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. I have a question regarding mm -hmm. uh, Swadesh word list. Which mm -hmm. that uh, there could be two possible responses for one word. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, if we have Two responses like me or a. Uh, are we supposed to record it in one file or two different separate files? Two different separate files. Okay. Okay. For uh, we we try and keep at least for the Swadesh word list. We try and keep one word ke liye one file. ठीक है, so उसमें जैसे in in fact I I think ma'am meant तुम and आप because तुम and आप are the honorific pronouns for the second person in Hindi. तो तुम एक है, तुम आप normal बोल सकते हैं, तू भी बोलते हैं. In fact there will be three files for Hindi as far as तू is concerned or as far as far as you is concerned, right? तो उसमें Hindi में तीन होंगे. अगर अगर आप Swadesh word list देखेंगे, तो जहाँ पर भी you आता है, ठीक है? That is probably number two. So you will write in the, the in the file name. File name कैसे रखेंगे अभी हम लोग अभी हम लोग आएंगे. So file name अगर आप Swadesh word list है. This is my Swadesh word list. In Swadesh word list, I have the item number two. So S W L two, okay. And item number two के I have three options. So S W L two A, S W L two B, S W L two C. Here in the content code, I will write S What exactly I am collecting? ठीक है? So here, अगर आपके पास दो information है या तीन words है, तीन options है, एक ही शब्द के, you you will look at the number which the every every does anybody have the Swadesh word list uh, in front of you? Let me just quickly show you the Swadesh word list. I think I have it uh, in my. You can just go to Wikipedia and you know find the Swadesh word list. All right. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. This is the is the the Wikipedia version. I have a word file as well, but uh, was share. I mean, with Honiya. So this is the first one. I 
one is i so you have numbers associated with every can you see the numbers associated with every word there are numbers associated so this is a fixed number one say saw tak fixed number hai word list mein yahi so when you are writing your when you are collecting your data if you are the informant yourself agar aap khud record kar rahe ho if for example you are let's say you are doing it uh, in gujarati right agar to aap aapko bolne ki zarurat nahi hai ki i main 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 aap sirf bolenge number 1 main 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 or whatever main is however main is said in gujarati theek hai in two uh, in for the second item you will say two or and then translate however you uh, translate you in your language theek hai isi tarike se so now you have you are doing all of this recording right all right you're doing all of this recording aapke paas files aa gaye hain ab aapko file ko name karna hai file naming again i cannot stress stress this enough it's the most important thing kyunki jab aap baad mein analysis kar rahe hote hain to aapko aasani hoti hai locate karne mein kaun sa shabd kahan hai not just shabd because you can see here you have content code can you see content code content code is what kind of content it is is it a word list is it a word file क्या ये एक फोटोग्राफ है क्या ये एक फोटोग्राफ का uh, क्या ये एक वीडियो uh, रिकॉर्डिंग है सो हियर इन द कंटेंट कोड यू कैन राइट द काइंड ऑफ कंटेंट देयर इज सो जस्ट इन द फाइल इट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड फाइल नाम नाम देख के आपको पता लग जाएगा कि ये वीडियो रिकॉर्डिंग थी या एक वर्ड रिकॉर्डिंग है ऑडियो रिकॉर्डिंग है या ये फोटोग्राफ है या क्या है ठीक है सो दिस इज हाउ ये जो एक्सटेंशन है डॉट डब्ल्यू एवी या डॉट वट एवर इट इज इट कम्स ऑटोमेटिकली फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आपके पास फोटोग्राफ है फोटोग्राफ जेपैग फाइल है तो जेपैग ऑटोमेटिकली यहाँ आ जाता है इसमें आपको चेंज करने की कोई जरूरत नहीं होती इन द लास्ट एक्सटेंशन बट वट एवर यू पुट इन फ्रंट ऑफ इट इज हाउ यू विल गोइंग टू लोकेट इट और इन सारे लोकेशन को फाइनलाइज करने के लिए आपके पास एक मास्टर फाइल एक्सेल की हमेशा होनी चाहिए क्योंकि उस मास्टर फाइल में लिखा होगा कि लैंग्वेज कौन सी है इन्फॉर्मेंट कौन सा था अगर आपकी फाइल में आपको दिक्कत लग रही है यू कैन जस्ट गो इन टू योर एक्सेल शीट एंड फिगर आउट कि कहां पर क्या है ठीक है इन्फॉर्मेंट कौन था सेशन आईडी कौन सा है उस इन्फॉर्मेंट के साथ कौन सा कौन सा सेशन है क्या पहला सेशन है क्या दूसरा सेशन है तीसरा है सोन एंड सोफोर्थ किस काइंड वट काइंड ऑफ कॉन्टेंट इट इज कौन से डेट पे वो कॉन्टेंट रिकॉर्ड हुआ है कौन से डेट पे वो आपको कॉन्टेंट मिला है एंड देन दी एक्सटेंशन now you will you will know that there are various ways of arrange, arranging files on excel jab aap date ke hisab se arrange kar dete hain then automatically your files are arranged in the in the uh, according to their dates and you already automatically know ki pehle din maine ye kiya dusre din maine ye kiya teesre din maine ye data ikatha theek hai okay? so all of this information can be concentrated on your file name remember iso code first अगेन जैसे कि मैंने बोला दिस इज माई सिस्टम ऑफ नेमिंग फाइल्स आई हैव फाउंड इट वेरी बेनिफिशियल वेरी इजी फॉर मी टू लोकेट माय फाइल्स यू कैन डेवलप योर ओन सिस्टम बट फॉर द काइंड इफ यू आर सेंडिंग इन अ प्रोजेक्ट टू सेल दिस इज द दिस इज द फॉर्मेट व्हिच वी फॉलो एंड दिस इज द फॉर्मेट व्हिच हेल्प्स अस क्योंकि अगर आप सब लोग फॉलो करते हैं हमारे लिए भी सारे इंफॉर्मेशन को सारे डेटा को इकट्ठा करके एक जगह रखना सबसे इजी हो जाता है ठीक है so you will find the iso code of the language with that you will be working with write the iso code first underscore not a hyphen not a slash nothing else no dots underscores underscore you will write the name of the informant agar aap khud informant hai ya aap apna naam likhenge pura naam nahi bina space ke initials bhi likh sakte hain then you given another underscore then you number name the session अगर आप ये चीज इफ यू वांट टू गेट रिड ऑफ दिस एस ओ वन सेशन आई आप हटाना चाहते हैं यू कैन वेरी वेल रिमूव इट एज वेल बिकॉज दिस इज इन्फॉर्मेशन दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर मी मैं इस डेटा को फॉलो करती हूँ बिकॉज समटाइम्स आई वर्क विद द सेम इन्फॉर्मेंट ऑन अ नंबर ऑफ ओकेजन तो सेशन आई आप हटा सकते हैं उसके बाद आप लेकिन कॉन्टेंट आई इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वॉट काइंड ऑफ कॉन्टेंट इट इज यू विल बी कलेक्टिंग दिस स्वादिश वर्ड लिस्ट so you will write here s w l it's not just any word list that you are collect, uh, collecting you are co collecting the swadesh word list so s w l and then of course like we saw swadesh word list mein we have numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 so swadesh word list ke baad yahan pe single aap likhenge 1 2 3 4 or whatever whichever number it is so that for example if i want to look at word number 57 word number 57 is c <coughs> s e e the verb right 
So automatically, you just have to look at the 57th file to figure out what is the word for this, for what is the word in that particular language for C. If I'm collecting Swadesh word list in more than two languages, okay? I'm collecting it in Hindi, I'm collecting it in Assamese as well. So ISO code, I will find the file name that it is Hindi or it is Hindi. या दूसरी दूसरी किसी दूसरी लैंग्वेज का या एसएमएस का ठीक है सो ऑल ऑफ दिस इनफॉरमेशन इज इम्पोर्टेंट द डेट इज इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज़ अगेन इट हेल्प्स यू ऑर्गेनाइज योर डेटा इट हेल्प्स यू हेल्प्स यू ऑर्गेनाइज कि आप कहाँ आप कब फील्ड पे गए थे कब कौन सी डेट पे आपने ये करता किया यू कैन अगेन that's your choice. But for me, I have always found it easiest to have the date here. Because when I get the data, I get to know that I have to know which year I have done which data, which not just which year, which day, which which field trip. Mein. It's easy for, easy for me to figure out this particular information. Right? So now, as the Swadesh word list is concerned, you will, this is, this is what you will do. You will, if you are the one collecting that, if you are if you are the informant, you are the one who is doing the recording. आप ही information दे रहे हो, आप ही उस language में record कर रहे हो. You don't need to um, say the word out loud in English or Hindi because the Swadesh word list that we will be providing to you as members of the cell, members of cell is uh, has both English and Hindi. वो आपको करने की जरूरत नहीं है, वो आपको record करने की जरूरत नहीं है. You just say the number like Kavita ma'am said. You say number one. And then you say, for example, let me give you an example of how I will do the recording. My language is Assamese and I will do it. All right. Number one, moi, moi, moi. Okay. Now, did you see that when I said moi, moi, and the third one, there was a drop in the intonation, moi. That should not ha happen. Okay. That's an incorrect way of doing it. All right. You should have the intonation should be equal and the intonation should be clear in all three uh, recorded items. So moi, 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 just the three. There should be adequate space between two words. Okay. Each of your each in, in, in every time you record, there should be adequate amount of time between the two. Let's say a gap of one second or two seconds, because especially if you're doing uh phon phonological analysis it is easier for you, you as an analyst to cut the file in that particular point when there is a gap all right so make this a habit every time you are collecting a word list there is there should be gap between two words i think ma'am wants to say something ma'am uh but a number one nahi kehte hum sirf one one one, one. <laughs> one. one. Uh, two no, actually one word or number one bolne ki aadat ho jati hai na number one point number one to isi tarike se so again uh, Jessica okay. Mateka, again she is she is way way more uh, experienced than I am so listen to her don't say number one just say one and go on uh, and go on two is you to me to me to me two to a to me to me to me to b toy 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 to c Apuni, Apuni, Apuni. You get it? So there are three versions of you in my language. Okay? Three versions. So that's why, of course, I have three different recordings, three different files, three different file names, SWL2A, SWL2B, SWL2C. Get it? Then you move on to three. Ami, Ami, Ami. Okay, so this is how you will collect all of these 10 different words. You will have 100, oh, sorry, 100 different words. You will have 100 files or more than 100 files because again, like we said, we have three different uh, versions of uh, you in my language. So we all already have 102 files there. Then we have we, which is we inclusive. Just may hum, we inclusive in matab, I am included in the we, and there is a we. Uh, there is one where I am not included in the we. This is not there in our languages, so uh, you don't need to worry about that. But sometimes you may come across languages where this is there. Okay, then this, that, who, what, not, so on and so forth. Take not maybe as a Hindi may nahi or mat. We have two different ways: not nahi ya mat ya na also. Right? So you have again three files here. So eight, maybe number eight, maybe you will have eight A, eight B, eight C. Get it? And you will name them in the way which I have shown you. You will write the ISO code. You will write the informant name. 
You can get rid of the session ID if you don't want to. Then you will have the content code, which is SWL. And then you will have the number right here of the uh, in of the item, let's say SWL 56. Okay. And then you will have the date in which you can. Sorry, ma'am. Uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt you again. Uh, file naming, jo hai, wo Swadesh word list ke ek specific tarike se we have uh, hum logo ne develop kari hai. I will send you the way we uh, write it. Or uh, chuki uh, yahan par ek important baat hai for your future. Jab aap kuch aur collect kare, we just don't uh, write SWL1. Kyunki agar 100 hai, then we write 001. 002, 003. Hmm. computer just read read karta hai or wo usko, uh, uh, order uska change kar deta hai. Ah. Na? To, uh, SWL 001, SWL 002, is tar hai se kariyega. Or vese swadish word list ke liye, uh, hum logo ne khud apni create kari hai. I will send that to Mona ji. Ha. Aapko vese hi naming karni hai. And then comes the IPAR, Madhuri. They have to transcribe it also. On the file name? No, no. Once once the data is collected. Oh, huh. I got scared. It's not very information. I don't know. I don't students I don't know. 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 Very anyway, little time uh, is left. Uh, so transcription is the second step. Transcription uh a dusra step. Hota hai. But right now you will have uh th this is when you are collect when you have collected the data and how you will name it. Again, I cannot stress it enough. Naming is very important. Develop your own um system and understand and learn from the experiences of others. Just ma'am ne bhi kaha ki yahan pe agar aap zero nahi lagate hai, wo ordering gar bada deta hai. Okay? But uh, again, you have the information or you have the uh, you have the opportunity, you have the you have the luxury. If you if you have all of this information encoded on an Excel sheet, Excel sheet may agar aap information encode karke rakhte hai, oh, you okay. have the luxury of arranging it as well, whenever however way you please it. Agar aap date ki se karna chahe, word list ke numbering ke se karna chahe, that's your prerogative okay so i think i think that is it i think that's all that i have to uh tell you guys if you have any doubts you can definitely ask me you can definitely um you know email me i think um email cell contact cell india at gmail.com or you can email me as well let me write my email address on the chat um, box so that you can have huh. question to ask over here uh, that when there are variations of the same word, mm -hmm. one, two, and three, suppose, uh, may, sorry, what was it? Two, two, men up. Gee. So, uh, how in this case, of course, because we know it's a pan Indian phenomenon, we know what mm -hmm. it stands for. But suppose if there is some variation which is particular to that language, mm -hmm. so do we need to provide some grammatical information about it? For example, in Gujarati, the inclusive, exclusive mm -hmm. uh, form that you mentioned for mm -hmm. this. First person plural. We have ame and apane. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, just giving the word, will that suffice? Or do we give some information that this is the inclusive one, this is the exclusive one? And if we need to, then how do we provide that information? Ma'am, would you like to take this? Yeah. Ma'am, uh, mute. This kind of information we are not collecting uh, while uh, collecting Swadesh wordless Mona ji. But if we are with native speakers ke aur jo kaam kar rahe hai, documentation, ka, usme hum, we always ask them to write that uh, information uh, on the footnote. Madhuri, you will be aware of that Himachal, when we trained native speakers, ko jab train kara tha, hmm. to, uh, unke haan, pronouns are a very complex system. Hai. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, we requested them to uh, write the details uh, footnote. So, if there is a lexical collection, which is the one that we have to develop in grammar, then we have to do all the things. As of now, jo hai, these students they just have to collect the Swadesh word list. And uh, if there are more words of the, of the same item, uh, they they will just um, 1a or 22a 22b they will record both the both the um, items 
and they will transcribe both the items and they will, they will send that data. Uh, uh, Dr. Mona, ma'am, uh, ma'am, I think you asked me about you asked this particular question. The example you gave, what, which was the example? Apne and what? Ame and apne. This is a plural personal, personal plural. Yes. Ha, so the Swadesh word list already has this information. For example, if you look at the uh, word number three, the Swadesh word list word number three is we, which is in bracket. It says inclusive. Okay. So when it is inclusive, you add the inclusive information only you you add you doesn't you use the word which is there for inclusive only if That's we fine. know now if there is something which has inclusive then we also later on we can ask if there is there is there one which is an exclusive item so we'll follow up but for this swadish word list we stick to what is there on the word list itself it, it already says that the third in the third word three we is inclusive so you use the um you use the pronoun, which is for inclusive only. So, utna information, hum log abhi karte. this is obviously for eventual later on when we have more, when we do more kind of more el elicitation, then it's always good to have uh, more information. Jab hum log put more. Okay. Fine, fine. Thank you. And there is a raised hand in the back. Yes, please go ahead. Come, come. Come. Uh, Ma'am, I just wanted to ask, what is the submission process like? I mean, uh, do we only have to give the recordings and the transcription or do we also give a report kind of a thing of the, uh, you know, when we collected the word, what kind of exactly an environment it was and the, the background uh, of the biographical details of the participants and everything like that. Do we have to collect that kind of uh, information as well? Ma'am, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Uh, हम लोग एक लिस्ट प्रोवाइड करेंगे आपको और उसमें स्वादिश वर्ड लिस्ट ओरिजिनल भी लिखी हुई है और उसके सामने यू हैव टू डू द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन और इसके अलावा कुछ लैंग्वेजेस uh, में जैसे दे हैव देयर ओन स्क्रिप्ट सो इफ यू वांट टू प्रोवाइड दैट आल्सो यू कैन जस्ट आप एक कॉलम बढ़ा दीजिए और उस स्क्रिप्ट में जैसे गुजराती में भी उसको लिख कर दे सकते हैं Jesse, in Assamese, we have Swadesh word list uh, uh, written in IPA and in Assamese script. So that way, you can Gujarati or Marathi if someone is giving you or if there is an endangered or indigenous language and it is a written form and you want to give it, then they will give it. So in two forms, we need data, audio, audio also, as well as in IPA and in their if they have their script in written form. But the all the written form will be in a same table. Wo table hum log aapko provide karenge. Usme hi aapko type kar kar dena hoga. Usme aapko, ha, we need typed, uh, typed data. Aapko usme hi type kar ke dena hoga. In case aapko uh, typing fonts ya inki sabki koi problem ho, to you can mail us. Hum aapko fonts kaha se milenge. IPA kaha se aapko milega. Th that we will tell you. Okay. So, uh, no such thing as a report while collecting the data. Nothing like that, right? Um, for for our project, for the project that uh, we do, you don't require to. You're not required to give a report or anything. But if you want to, you definitely can. You know, give a. You can give a write up where you are talking about the informant profile. You are talking about the language. It it can be even sent in for publication. So if you want to give, you know, it's a, it's a good practice. It's a good practice to have you, especially for you as students of MA, you are in MA, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's always, yeah. huh, so it's always better. It's always a great idea to have a publication in your MA itself. So if it is, uh, and most importantly, it's, it's great for you because we have Vakmanthan, which is a peer reviewed uh, journal. And uh, you can send in your paper if it is if it passes our review process, then it can definitely be published as well. So again, it's a good idea if uh, if men if all of you or many of you are doing the, uh, the doing let's say working with the same language, all of you can get together, write a profile, write in a a report of how you did and what how, what you did exactly to get, and it can be a good paper idea. All right. But you are not required to do that for our particular project. All right, I got it. Thank you so much. No worries. Anything else? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I had a question. Uh, what if uh, the person I'm interviewing, collecting data from, and we neither of us share a common language? 
For example, mm-hmm. I speak Hindi and English, but that person does not speak Hindi nor English. I need mm-hmm. to collect data. So how do I communicate the word list to him for him mm-hmm. to deliver? In that case, these are like the uh, the most difficult cases. In that case, you have to have somebody else present who knows this information, who has who knows one of the two languages, or can can work as a common uh, denominator between between you two. Because if you don't have a common language, then there is actually literally no possible way of collecting the Swadesh word list. However, there can be other uh, words which you can collect, which you can use, which you can elicit by showing pictures, but not the word list because the word list has something like I, you and me. Uh, I don't know if something, in fact, that can be a good idea. Uh, some of one of you can, you know, work on it about how, when, uh, what kind of images can be shown to a person if they don't have as a Swadesh word list in place of a Swadesh word list. If uh, A, if they are illiterate, B, if they are uh, if you don't share a common language. So that can be a good idea for one of you to develop. But for the time being, you absolutely have to have somebody who has a common knowledge of both the languages. Thank you, ma'am. Anyone? Uh, yes, I had a question. If I mm-hmm. ask uh, a law, if I ask questions like how and why, and I'm expecting a long answer, but won't I need to be familiar in that language to understand what they're saying? Or how will I be able to navigate between like the word that I'm the target word that I want to collect? Um, it's, when you are you when you have a target word, word killer usually you don't do you don't ask how and what uh, how and why um, questions. You either show them an image or you show them in uh, show them something and and. Uh, you show them an image of a particular uh, of the particular item that you want to, or if it's an abstract item, uh, then you either ask them to, to you know, um, describe something or describe that particular. For example, hope. If you want to extract the meaning for hope, then you give them a scenario. Of course, this is happening in the common language that you are that you are that you have, right? So the, the common language is there, and then. Within that common language, the person will talk about the abstract item that you are looking for. And again, this is a tedious process. It's a long process. There is, it is not two plus two is equal to four. There, it will be there. I'm saying that you need to be patient. And then, and as and when you work with the community, you do get an idea of uh, the language. You do develop, for example. Uh, Professor Astogi has been working with the Raji community for the past 25 years and she now knows the language without ever having learned it actively and because she just goes to the field, speaks to the people, knows the data, has, has written a freaking grammar of the language, so she knows the language. So she cannot speak like fluently probably, but uh, so when the person is giving an answer, they will, they will, it's like, it's like you figure it out. It's like in Kung Fu Panda, they, he figures it out. So you figure it out. You, it does happen. <laughs> and ma'am, ma'am, do you want to add something? Uh, I an incident. When I administered my first questionnaire, uh, that was regarding language shift. And, um, and one question was regarding language attitude. I asked you garv hai. The concept of garv was very difficult for me to explain them. So, or I मतलब अभी भी मुझे लगता है कि कुछ लोगों को बड़े बड़े राजी लोगों को elderly people को वो समझाना बहुत मुश्किल होता है. The children with whom we are working, Madhvi is also working with uh, with those children. Now, uh, as they are going to school, वहाँ वो हिंदी और अंग्रेजी पढ़ रहे हैं. तब वो अपनी बात को आ, अच्छी लगती है गर्व है हम अपनी भाषा नहीं छोड़ेंगे दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टेटमेंट्स नाउ दे हैव स्टार्टेड यूजिंग पहले उन्हों पहले उनको ये गर्व का कांसेप्ट नहीं समझ में आता था कि क्या मतलब है गर्व से तो ये बेटा शुरू शुरू में बहुत मुश्किल होता है किसी नई कम्युनिटी के लोगों को आ, उन कॉन्सेप्ट्स को समझाना जो कि आपके अपनी लैंग्वेज और अपने कल्चर से जुड़े हुए हैं एंड इट नीड्स लॉट ऑफ पेशेंस और बहुत सारा समय लगता है उनके साथ काम करते करते तब आप इन चीजों से जुड़ पाते हैं और उनको भी जोड़ पाते हैं yeah, they don't have any word for salutation 
any kind of word. Na namaste, na dua salam, any gesture, wo bhi nahi hai unke, unke bhasha mein. Because they consider themselves uh, as a king. Unhone apni lineage jo hai, wo ye jodte hai ki wo rajaon ke vanshad hai. और इसलिए वो बिल्कुल नमस्ते करना और हाथ जोड़ना या कोई किसी तरह का कोई टर्म उनकी भाषा में पहले नहीं था और इसीलिए आज भी अगर मैं जाती हूं तो आई आई एम द वन जो मैं उनके पास जाऊंगी मैं पूछूंगी कि दीदी कैसी हो भैया कैसे हो बच्चे कैसे हो वो मेरी तरफ बढ़कर नहीं आते जो बच्चे हम लोगों के साथ काम कर रहे हैं द प्रेजेंट जनरेशन दे हैव लर्न दीज कॉन्सेप्ट और उन्होंने ये कल्चर जो हम लोगों का है कि बड़ों से बोलो तो आप नमस्ते करते हो दुआ सलाम करते हो या आप थोड़ा रिगार्ड करते हुए खड़े हो जाते हो दे हैव लर्न दीज थिंग्स तो अब हम लोग जाते हैं हम और माधुरी जब वर्कशॉप करते हैं तो वो दौड़ के आएंगे और दे दे हैव माधुरी लेकिन अदरवाइज पहले जो पुराने राजीज हैं वो आपसे पांच मीटर की दूरी बनाकर Hmm. और मेल जो है दे दे विल नेवर मेक आई कांटेक्ट मेल्स जो है कभी भी आई कांटेक्ट करके बात नहीं करते और अगर आप आई कांटेक्ट करेंगे तो वो चेहरा घुमा लेते हैं तो आपको लगता है कि व्हाट काइंड ऑफ पर्सन ही इज कि ये आप आपको देखते ही चेहरा घुमा लेता है सो दैट्स व्हाई आई सेड कि आपको बहुत पेशेंस की जरूरत होती है फील्ड uh, वर्क में काम करने के लिए सो so, Yeah. That's also, you, 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 uh, as and when you work with a community, you understand the kind of the cultural uh, nuances that they have, and you try. Or, आपको धीरे-धीरे जितना field पे काम करते हो ना, so field work is something which teaches you a lot of things. बेटा एक मिनट. Teach, which teaches you a lot of things. Ah, uh, it's it's a teacher in itself. Ah, uh, so when you go into the field, every time you learn something. The first time I went on field, I had I thought this is going to be very easy. वो ही तो है मतलब information ही तो है मतलब लेना ही तो है सवाल पूछेंगे जवाब देंगे हो गया काम खत्म. But every time, like I said, ah, uh, by the time by the third time I went into field, I realized that no, I need to have a certain set of objectives in my mind. जिसमें दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू वर्क टूवर्ड्स एंड आई नीड टू डिजाइन माई टास्क डिजाइन माई प्रोडक्शन टास्क माई एलिसिटेशन टास्क एवरीथिंग अराउंड दीज अराउंड दी ऑब्जेक्टिव आई हैव एंड बाई दी एंड ऑफ द फील्ड वर्क आई नीड टू नो कि इन ऑब्जेक्टिव में से कितने कंप्लीट हुए This one time I remember we had to come back sooner than we wanted. We had we had gone for seven. Uh, we have wanted to stay there for ten days, but we had to come back in seven. And by and in seven day when we are getting up when when we are getting up when when we are getting up 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 when we are getting